scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. Lord, I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I can never ever do without you. How I love to live for you. And how I love to stand for you. And even though it hurts me for every step I take And even though it pains me for every move I make But I love you Lord, I can never ever do without you I love you I can never ever do without you. I love you, Lord. I truly love you, Lord. I can never ever do without you. For there's an army rising up. I'm part of this army rising up. I know there's an army rising up. I'm convinced there's an army. Mike, play strings, please, strings. Rising up. There's an army. Hey, hey, hey. We are rising up. There's an army rising up. Hey, there's an army, unshakable army, an army of power. There's an army, he's rising up. Stay on an There's an army. Rising up across territories, across nations, there's an army rising up, and they will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. That's the assignment to break every chain. Hallelujah. This is why we do the things that we do. There is truly an army. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. 
There's an army. They are rising up. They will break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. Listen, there is an emergence of spiritual men. Please listen to me. There is an apostolic emergence of spiritual men. Not just men who are spiritual. Spiritual men. A man can do spiritual things. It doesn't make him a spiritual man. There are women who are rising. They bore us. A prophetic generation. Women with the eyes of an eagle. Women with ears that can hear every sound. There are men of influence that God is raising. You may look ordinary right now. Because there's no money or there's no anointing. You wait until the Holy Ghost is done with you. This is not about English. This is not about those who can speak. No. There will be a demonstration. An enforcing of the kingdom. Men who know no limits like Daniel. And Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. They will walk through fire. And nothing will happen to them. They have mastered the mysteries of the kingdom. The things that scare men no longer scare them. They understand the principles that create the effect in this realm. These are the kinds of people that God is raising. Not just men that can pray. Not just men who can just talk. No, men of understanding. The sons of Issachar. Men who can look to the sky and understand what the language of the spirit is. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army. They are rising up to break every chain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Dominion is an enforcing of kingdom authority. And I was sharing with the leaders. I sense that very soon the power of God is just going to start breaking out in this place. I've just been flowing as the Holy Spirit is leading me. I'm going to teach and will pray and will worship, sing, teach and worship. Let's just flow with what God is doing. Hallelujah. Dominion, listen, listen, listen. Dominion is not guesswork. Dominion is not an impartation. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There's no such thing as I impart upon you dominion. Dominion is the natural consequence of holding the keys of the kingdom. That's what the Bible calls the keys of David. Dominion. The Bible says, and it has been given unto you that you will know the mysteries of the kingdom. God shrouds himself with mysteries. And the more you begin to press into God, you have to keep unlocking mystery after mystery. The mystery of creation. The mystery of the power of God. The mystery of wisdom. The mystery of the word of God. The more you catch this mystery, something happens to you here and now in your mortal physical body that translates you. That's why the Bible says, for one star differed from another in glory. Not in shape, so you may be ordinary, but on the strength of the mysteries that you know, you can make proclamations in the realm of the spirit. Kabalandekarai. Ziketete kaparada da baladada. 
It's not trial and error. It's a realm. If you are not there, you are not there. There's no guessing. Um, you can wear suit and fake it. If you are not there, you are not there. You function only from the strength of that realm. And I will give you the mysteries. It is on the strength of this mystery that you can tell one, go, and he will go. And tell another, come, and he will come. Brothers and sisters, that is dominion. There is something you can know that can make you face any witch in your family and say, forget it. You threatened people yesterday, but right now I speak to you. There is something you can know that activates the anointing in your life and you become a living wonder. Heaven has been seen. Part of the mysteries of the kingdom is that the moment you strike that chord, heaven answers. This is what you are seeing. There is, there is no magic about it. And it's not something that happens today and then tomorrow it cannot happen. It's not an effect. It's a realm of existence. You can come there. This is what, by the grace of God, we seek to bring everyone because it's not a thing about a man of God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The realm where his voice is no longer strange. And then the accuracy of your life begins to astonish men. Circumspectly. The realm where you walk through limitations as if they do not exist. Because you are operating from the vistas of another kingdom. You see another reality greater so when men say limitation you say where is it i cannot see it because as far as i see i see that my 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 eyes have become attuned to the word of god and it's on the strength of that revelation you can speak when men say there is a casting down you tell them it's only my body that is here but i'm operating from a realm and according to the mysteries of the kingdom when I speak from that realm, I enforce the realities of that realm to be present here and now. There is a mystery of the anointing. Very few people understand the anointing. Let me tell the truth. Many people have impartations. They can lay hands. People can fall in the meeting. But see, you can interact with the anointing. He said an anointing can teach you spiritual things have personalities including the anointing you can come into oneness with the anointing and you understand its operation this is not about apostle this is not about prophet this is about ascending to the hill of the Lord and you will stand in his holy place There's an army rising up. Because some of you will be the, not everybody. But there's an army. They are rising up. Forget about the limitations of today. There's an army rising up. And they will break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. Can I have seven people, please? Just any seven people. Just, just come and stand here. I want to show you something. Just, just stand here. See. Okay, want to just squeeze yourself so you can stand. One, two, three, four, five, six. The Bible says, listen. From the book of Revelation, it gives us an idea is that the best is that all the volume don't be afraid go ahead and just it tells us that there are seals and there are scrolls in heaven are you following me now in ancient times the mysteries of a kingdom were written by people who were gifted in literature 
and it was folded in scrolls and it was tied with seven seals seven being the number of perfection are you getting me and there were certain people who qualified and every time there was need to open it they will unlock the seals unlock the seals the seven seals the moment they open the seven seal the scroll is open and they begin to read not everyone is permitted to see what is written there are you getting my point do you understand what I'm saying no matter how much you press into God listen to me there are certain things you will never find on your own are you hearing what I'm saying no matter how you press into the things of God there are some dimensions that are not given to just find like that let me show you something second Corinthians 4 can we project that If we can have it um preferably okay first corinthians i'm sorry four verse one in amplified if we can have it in amplified everybody read it amplified if we can get it dominion 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 standing on the mysteries of the kingdom are we ready please let's read one to read can we have it amplified no amplified all right read one to read stop and what of what what did he call them who is a steward answer me who is a steward a steward is what you trust a man with something a job to do or to hold something for you is that true the bible says that there are certain people it's not because of their fasting or prayer it's an election of grace by the predeterminate counsel of god they have been made stewards of the mysteries of god please listen to me and kick away this junk in the body of christ many people dishonor everybody you see because you just look and say forget it is, is is are they worshiping a man there is a difference between human worship and honor are you hearing my point there are men here and now in this earth realm who are custodians of the mysteries of god are you getting my point when you recognize them and open up yourself to the influence of the revelations that has been given to them you will step the goal is not for the men to stand and brag the, the whole body is supposed to come into that revelation but that the dispensing of it cannot be by everybody are you getting what I'm saying so because of this God grants them unusual encounters unusual light unusual illumination and every time the devil wants to destroy your destiny the first thing he does is he discredits the anointing that is supposed to take you to the next level are you getting what i'm saying that's why we have all kinds of people talking against pastors talking against men of god talking against every you know all kinds of things there are people who are experts they come and analyze men of god sit in their homes and just castigate every and everybody including pastors we sit down and we're just talking can i tell you something there are stewards of the mysteries of god never forget this and let me tell you you will never receive from a man until there is genuine honor to god to his office and to the anointing are you getting what i'm saying this is a powerful revelation it says let a man so account of us this is paul speaking let's look at ephesians 3 please quickly ephesians 3 
And so, the job of these apostles and these prophets and these people, their assignment is to unlock these seals. Open them up. What is the law that governs the miraculous? Why is it still a mystery in the body of Christ? It should be a mystery to unbelievers, not Christians. But why is it still a mystery? Because there are custodians who carry these mysteries but have not been appreciated. Why is wealth still a mystery in the body of Christ? Because there are custodians of that mystery. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It says in, in, in Isaiah 51, don't turn there. It says, look unto Abraham. Did he say look unto the patriarchs? He mentioned a particular person who was a custodian of the blessing. See, if you do not understand how the structure works of the kingdom works, you will be cheated. Hallelujah. Your dominion and my dominion is at the mercy of the mysteries of the kingdom that we truly can comprehend. And those mysteries are not just hidden in the Holy Ghost alone. They have been delivered here and now. Every, see, anointing does not leave the earth to heaven. Are you getting my point? No, go and read your Bible. Anointing does not leave earth to heaven. That means every manifestation of the spirit that we have seen from Bible days till today, the grace and access to that mystery is available in the earth realm here and now. Hidden in vessels of clay. And when those people are recognized and their ministries appreciated, you will enter dramatic levels. Hallelujah. Ephesians, verse 2. Paul says, If ye have heard of the dispensation of what? The grace of God which is given to me. Paul said a grace was given. What was the grace? Verse 3. How that by, how that by, by revelation, he made known unto us, unto who? Unto me, the mystery. Paul was not the greatest of the apostles, but he said, for whatever reason, I cannot explain. But he called me and committed unto me a mystery. And so you will hear Paul again and again speak and say, behold, I show you a mystery. Brothers and sisters, listen. Please do not let any man cheat you and rob you of your glorious destiny. The answer to your greatest prayer request is hidden in vessels of clay and is hidden in the mysteries of the kingdom. If you can have the eyes to see it, something happened. I'm sure some of the protocol people will be there. There's, there's a lady here who brought some people, those of you who know Plateau State, from Gindiri, one of the local governments, or just somewhere around the local government there. Some people came, they wanted to make it for the miracle service. But they could not make it for the miracle service. They came, the whole family, and they came in for counseling. They came with their father completely paralyzed. Hallelujah. Completely paralyzed. The first thing that moved me was the fate of these people. This man had been a teacher for more than 35 years, so he's not an idiot. Two of the children are doctors. They are not fools. And they left all the way. They listened to just one koinonia message, or a number of koinonia messages, really. And the man said they should take him and bring him to Zaria. Can you imagine that? A whole family entered their car and they drove. When I saw them, I opened my heart. And I said, Lord, what is the meaning of this? And then back to 1 Corinthians 4, please. The Lord began to let me know that, look, son, I don't do these things because you are indispensable. I don't do these things because you are one superman. By grace, I have committed to you certain dimensions of the mysteries of the kingdom. There are many people, listen, I'll never forget one gentleman who came and met me one day. He said, man of God, I've been watching you from a distance and I really appreciate you. 
I have seen the grace of God in your life and and, and all of that and uh, I, I just maybe once in a while uh, I'll just come and uh, we just maybe rub minds together I told him get out of this place you are a very irresponsible young man you don't know how to receive you are a foolish boy and, and, and trust me I don't mean pride are you getting my point I don't mean pride when you understand that there are stewards even if see that steward can be your child your blood child are you getting my point you keep looking at him as a baby and die of what there is a grace upon his life to solve when that man got down the protocol people can testify and started walking he went and ate the miracle that happened right now they are preparing to come for the miracle service with so many other people and i'm just wondering and i say this from the depths of my heart I say, oh Lord, how many people among this crowd are here crying of problems? There are certain graces I don't have. I'm not ashamed of it. I will never try to venture into certain areas. I can recommend stewards that have been trusted and proven. And you know here, I, we talk about men of God generously. I'm not one of those people that sit down and brag and believe I'm Alpha and Omega. There are men of God who have seen things. We recommend books we recommend people are you getting my point now you must create an attitude that hunger for the mysteries of the kingdom and when you find vessels that are custodians of this mystery you must learn the art of reception there are people today who castigate Archbishop Benson Idahosa is that true he's there though but there are people who still talk about him say he brought human worship to nigeria he brought all kinds of things they they forget the influence that man went around the world 52 times 52 times from nation to nation he demonstrated a level of dominion prophet bob jones before he went to be with the lord said one time during this encounter an angel appeared to him and the angel told him that the name of the angel is breakthrough and he said i am the one who worked with archbishop benson idahosa that's what the angel was telling him bob jones does not know idahosa yet a man walked with such a grace and was despised by people around are you hearing what i'm saying there are some of you right now certain mysteries have been given to you but you go home and everybody just looks at you business as usual is that true they know that the healing anointing is at work in your life. It may not be there in full measure, but they know. Every time you tell them dreams, and say, I saw myself laying hands like Joseph, they laugh at you. There are some of you entrepreneurial graces, and people look at you and say, as broke as you are, this 200 naira trouser. You see, let me tell you, and I've taught it here, I have a responsibility over us in Christ to teach us. Never cultivate the attitude of dishonoring and disregarding a man of God if he's not perfect leave the imperfect part of him and get what you can get and move on are you hearing what I'm saying once you cultivate that attitude of I in this this is not my pastor this is not my papa this is not my prophet you see the man of God will keep you only at the limit of the mystery that has been committed to him but it takes more for you to walk in total dominion are you hearing what I'm saying? I just feel like taking away all of these things that some of us have put in our mind. If it's not my pastor's book, I'm not reading it. If it's not my pastor's prayer request, I'm not saying it. I, I have opened my heart lavishly and generously to the ministry of the body of Christ, especially in Nigeria. Let me tell you, in this country, we are gifted with mysteries. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are men and women of God working in this nation, Nigeria. Some of them are not on TV. Some of them are on TV. Some of them are just little gatherings like this, our own here. Different custodians of mysteries. When you find the flow of what God is doing, plunge into it with all your heart. And you will find out that you will come out at the other end a living wonder something will happen there are people here right now who come in from kaduna every week there are people who come in every time 
I remember I was talking somewhere and I told the people, I said, I may not claim to know all the mysteries of revelation. There are few revelations here and there that God has committed to me. Hallelujah. There are certain things. Higher, but there are some things God gave. I know it. Are you getting what I'm saying? When Jesus appeared to me, I know that specific things were given. I limit myself to the ministry of that grace that was given. While appreciating and embracing that which comes from the body of Christ. If you're looking for excellence, we are doing our best, but we may not be the absolute model of excellence. When you're looking for maybe the teaching anointing, we may not be the absolute model of it. But let me tell you something. I understand how to enter the presence of God. Oh yes, I know that. I can tell you this. I can tell you this. This is why the meeting was called Koinonia. I didn't choose the name. It came from heaven. It's a revelation. There are some things that are given to people as an office. When you recognize it. Hallelujah. One of the few men that introduced the revelation of the presence of God in Nigeria is Pastor Chris. Many people just knew the power of God. They didn't know the presence of God. Hallelujah. There are certain people who have introduced wealth to the body of Christ. There are certain people who have introduced wisdom. There are certain people who have introduced leadership. We keep castigating them and dying of what their graces can build us. See, let me tell you, I'm teaching you, this is the word from the Lord. I didn't plan to talk about this thing, but God is speaking to you. Zip your mouth as far as talking about men of God is concerned. Hallelujah. I used to talk a lot about men of God years ago until one elderly woman called me and she sat me down. She said, my son, you are going very far. What you see today, you may see better tomorrow. So it's better to keep your mouth. From that day, I repented and I vowed. If you hear me talk about a man of God and call his name, I'm saying something good. Many of us arrogantly move around talking about people, talking about all kinds of things. Whereas they have the anointings and the grace that will help us and set us free. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me give you one example. They are looking for Chibok girls. Is that true? For how long have they been looking for them? Are they not true prophets in this country who day and night are revealing the accurate counsel of God? Let me give you an instance. Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Are you following me? What is wrong with embracing the ministry to say, servant of God, we believe. We know what God has given to you. The kings in ancient times were not arrogant people. When there was trouble, they found the vessels. Hallelujah. Joshua Suleiman was saying something. He said one time, I listened to one of his teachings. And he said, he was watching, I think he was watching Pastor Chris or so. It was at a time when there were all kinds of persecutions and all of that for various reasons. And he said he looked at him. He said, but no, come on, the presence of God, this is a man of God. This is a man of God and I honor this man of God. He said he was in Abba and he was going for a program that night. He said that night he saw physical cancers falling on the ground. He said when he went back to his hotel room, he said, oh Lord, what is this? Hallelujah. There are custodians of the anointings. There are men like Benny Hinn who carry the visible manifestation. This is what took me to South Africa. I didn't go for tourism. I went desperate for an anointing. I saw that man, Kobus van Rensburg, single-handedly, he had raised more than 12,000 wheelchairs and crutches. I said, this cannot be pretense. They, they are in the church there. And I went, I said, I'm going. I will pay whatever price. When I got to South Africa, I was fasting. People were just smiling. There were a few Nigerians there opening their teeth and behaving like fools. I went and locked myself. I said, Lord, I came for business. I respect this custodian. Hallelujah. See, I was so hungry. I stayed in the, uh, in the guest house of the chief usher of the church. And when it was time, I, I sat there. I think it was row two. I sat down there passionately and hungry before Kobu started anything even before the pastor's conference started he called me out by prophecy and he looked at me and he said I see you being like Paul you will be a, a custodian of deep revelations of the kingdom all through the pastor's conference he laid hands on me again and he taught a teaching oh God 
Kobus taught something about the fathers of old. Let me tell you how mad that man was. He went round a tour, him and his friend, right? They went to, maybe they would say, this is the pulpit that maybe Alexander the way used. And he'll carry a handkerchief and clean it. Lord, there is an anointing on it. And he took it and threw it inside anointing oil. They went to the grave of William Branham. They said when they got to the grave, two of them fell on the floor. Under the anointing. Met the people who buried him did not fall. But many years, a man came with a hunger and an anointing from the bones of that general. The man who saw squirrels rise up, form, and enter the wilderness like Elisha. They fell, and he said, what will I do now? He cut the grass close to the side of the grave, and he dumped it inside the anointing oil. It's not witchcraft, it's hunger. Separate witchcraft from hunger. Separate human worship. Did all kinds of concoction on the anointing oil. My eyes was on that anointing oil all through the pastor's conference. They said it's time for lunch. I said, lunch? Am I a fool? I leave Nigeria and come here to eat lunch? I sat down. I was, I was, I was hungry. And then they put the pictures of all the generals on the altar for people to come and pray on. When I came, I didn't choose one. I just laid down on all of them. Not just one person. People were just picking one and looking at it and crying. There was no room for that. I laid down and I said, Lord, every impartation from this man, whatever made them living wonders, I rolled on the pictures. I did everything. Hallelujah. And when I did that, Kobus gave me a gift. Every time he's under an anointing, a very heavy anointing, he would lay his hands on a material and then they would print that material and he gave me the gift of one of those materials and one day he looked at me he said was it Andrew Murray or who was that now? no Lester Sumro laid hands on him and Smith Wigglesworth laid hands on Lester Sumro and he looked at me, he said, come, I want to connect you to the lineage of the generals. And he laid his hands on me. I carried that experience. I said, I'm done with South Africa. Thank you, Jesus. I'm on my way back. When I came, I prayed it out. And let me tell you, I knew. I knew. I saw two ladies who were sitting in front of us, just joking and making noise. It wasn't up to 15 minutes. Two of them were under the anointing. I said, thank you, Jesus. We, we, we need to focus. Hallelujah. I'll never forget that time. Pastor Chris called those of us who were from the north. I was a member of Christ Embassy, but I joined. I said, let me see who will stop me. See, many of you are not hungry for the mysteries of the kingdom. I'm challenging you tonight. I'm not just entertaining you. And I stood there. People were looking at his suit. I was looking. See, Elijah said, if you can see me, you need a level of focus. Church is not where you just come and look at decoration. Look at it before and after the service. During the service, your spirit, just like some of you, as you're sitting here, there, there's something in your spirit. You're saying, oh Lord, I know that if I focus, I will get something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Reinhard Bonke. I told you about the stories of Reinhard Bonke. I saw miracles in that man's life. And I followed him to Joss. Stood for six hours standing close to a pregnant woman who would lean on me occasionally. I said, Madam, we are all standing. We are all standing. But I understood that issue. But I told myself, if my legs would break, my legs were shaking at a point. I'm not exaggerating. But I looked at Reinhard Bonke. He had finished preaching. Simple preaching. Like many of you say, he's boring. No rema. Let your pride kill you there. And don't humble yourself. No rema. I need somebody who will explode me. Ah, I said, Lord, even if he's just laughing, I'm, at, I'm still there. I'm attentive. For the first time, I saw the visible manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Reinhard Bonke finished taking the water. Hallelujah. And when it was time to pray for the baptism of the Holy Ghost, 
he said he would take water the moment he would take water there were probably hundreds of thousands of people there for the first time i saw a bed that would be bigger than this auditorium a large bed white bed and there were silvery silvery substances coming down it was just hovering around ah, was i dreaming goodness what is this nobody else was seeing it and i saw it was moving around ah so this is the mystery behind the impartation that reinhard bonke can pray for hundreds of thousands of people and they will receive the baptism at once not to lay hands one by one no to pray for people when i saw it i knew something came upon me listen let me tell you i was focusing on that experience by the time the bed disappeared i was back in the stage i didn't even know when i had turned i was so focused only god knows when i turned hallelujah i saw people crying being emotional i had no time for all those things I, see when you see me listening to a man that i honor I can slap you if you, are dis if, you are, if you are disturbing me. I sit with all my heart. When Maurice Orulo came to Dunamis, I saw a lot of pastors who have no business with Dunamis. They came and humbled themselves. I said, may God bless you. This is wisdom. Hallelujah. The guy was just talking. You know how boring he preaches. I said, Lord, uh, this thing looks boring, but goodness, I won't be a fool. I'm listening. When you come for koinonia i may be joking now like some of you are just looking and laughing but graces there are distributions of graces going some of you will just get up and leave and find out that some things have suddenly become possible whereas there are others i know joshua selman is my personal friend i know this guy i know my man i even know the worship team is in us sam abba Sam, Sam, the Mwingir Watare, and you'll be talking all this nonsense, and they are carrying the mysteries of the kingdom. Let me teach you. Learn a lesson from today. It's not human worship, but don't fool yourself. All men are not equal. They are equal in Christ, but grace has separated men into cadres. And if you recognize this, it's not human worship. It positions you to receive, and then you too will rise and begin to bless others hallelujah i remember when i was going to minister in akma miss church when i got to the church people were clapping everybody was pointing this is joshua selman when i got there i got down on both of my knees publicly in the presence of everybody and i greeted the man he doesn't know me i got down on my knees and i greeted him and i got up and i sat back i will never see a man of God that is ahead of me that I know and not honor this man deeply from my heart hallelujah I was tired of making foolish decisions and I looked at Mike Mudok people used to criticize him and say he's a seed seed man I said call him whatever you want to call him I streamed life for hours listening to him the day I had a dream I pursued Oyedeko I pursued Oedeko till he visited me in my dream. Hallelujah. Till he visited me in my dream. What are you pursuing? What is worth your time? What is it that is worth your refusing to embarrass yourself? When Oedeko knelt down for Adeboe to lay hands on him, ushers quickly ran. He turned and said, you, you think I came here to play? He said, I'm kneeling down to get something tangible you are just moved by emotions hallelujah sinach came into koza last week i was in my room streaming and praying in tongues honoring that woman of god i said lord we want our worship team to carry that kind of presence so we will not cast we i i said if i cannot sow a seed or do anything to her let me pay the price with my internet and I was praying in tongues. My, the earphone was there. I was just praying. I said, Lord, on behalf of our worship team. Are you desperate to catch the mysteries of the kingdom? Are you desperate? Hallelujah. Elijah followed Elijah. Elijah said, Mr. Man, go. He said, no way. Kill me. Many of you don't have 
guts and the desperation it takes. That's why I'm telling you that the anointing of the spirit is not just dash that falls. There is a hunger. I carried a seed here from Zaria and I went to Canaan land to go and look for God's servants. And we got there, I dropped the seed and I knew I left that place with a tangible anointing. Hallelujah. Johnson Suleiman was speaking and he said he went to a hotel room where they told him Benny Hinn had stayed there. He said Benny Hinn stayed here. He said how long? They said about three weeks ago. He locked himself. He started praying. He rolled on the bed. He said I'm sure he used the toilet. He went to the toilet. Sat. No, no, no. You, you see people walking and you don't know what they do. I cried when Charles and Francis Hunter, many of you know them. The healing evangelist died. Because I was already making plans to go to the U.S. What was my plan? My plan was to go and beg them that I want to scrub their toilets for two weeks. I wasn't going for title. I was hungry. In one meeting, brothers and sisters, they raised 100 wheelchairs. 100 wheelchairs. Don't tell me that is trial and error. They did it laughing. Hallelujah. When I started the preparation, they died. I cried like a baby and then I played their, their VCD. I said, oh Lord, you see my heart and you see that I truly intended to get this anointing. I know where I'm going and I know that what I have is great but it's not enough to take me there. So I humble myself and receive. Many of you, God brought you here but week in, week out, you just come and you casually play. When the worship people are ministering, there's no sense of reverence that look, these are oracles of God ministering. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. The first prayer point is repentance for neglecting the custodians of the mysteries of God in the body. There are many people who say, me, it's, it's me and the Holy Spirit alone. Let me tell you, there are certain things, no matter how close you are with the Holy Spirit, he will recommend you to vessels that he has that are already carrying it i know a woman in this nation if she prays for you if you are single if she lays hands on you your husband is going to come and your wife will come this is not all these prophets people around moving around i know this one by the spirit hallelujah yet there are still people do you know that there are people that one word they will speak to you, it will terminate barrenness. Is that true? Brothers and sisters, how many barren people are still moving around? They would rather die than humble themselves. There are people today to come and sit down in Koinonia and receive. They would rather go and get the message and hide somewhere and listen and come out and disregard everybody and they find out that there is a distance in between them and the anointing. John followed Jesus to the cross. He said, I must see the end of this mystery. It was only John who saw physically the mystery of the death of Jesus and the cross. All the other people ran away. He understood the mystery of the cross. That's why hot oil could not kill him. There was something he saw that the remaining disciples did not see. What do you need to see tonight? That will take you out of where you are. Brothers and sisters, all things are available in the spirit. There are some of you, you are in ministry. You have been struggling for years. Someone sent me a text and said, how do you do with this crowd thing? Is it just, I heard of a woman who said, forget about this young man. You know all these young men these days, the things that they do. Every time God wants to use a vessel to bless you, beware. Because Satan will begin to discredit that vessel. So that when he strikes you, your arrogance will not allow you to run for help. But tonight God is giving you wisdom. This is how the kingdom works. When the ass was missing, was Saul, listen, Saul the son of Kish, he was destined for royalty. But when the ass was missing, they didn't waste their time. To say, oh, God also speaks to us. Remember, that was what Aaron and Miriam did. They said, Kai, God, Moses cannot be the only one you are speaking to. What nonsense is that? 
And God said, ah, a cloud came and left Miriam leprous. It was the leprosy that, that Moses was cured of when God was dealing with him. There are custodians of mysteries. Americans have lost it when they stop honoring the vessels that carry this anointing. Balance your grace message so that it does not rob you of stepping into anointings. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. He said, believe his prophets and you shall prosper. There are men who have been granted stewardship. Hallelujah. I'm going to Elorin, I think in two or three weeks. And I'm telling you, those people are so excited in that city. They've been listening to koinonia messages. Let me tell you something. I met two women in all sincerity. The women told me that they pray and fast every week. What's their prayer? That God should speak to me to come and open koinonia in Abuja. That's their prayer. They have taken it as a burden upon themselves. Because they believe that God is doing something they want to receive. I've seen the God of wonders work miracles for me. Those with gifts and talents spoke prophetically. The mantles of Elijah, Paul and Timothy. I want to see that power at work inside of me I'm tired of the status quo there's gotta be more than this there's gotta be more gotta be help me say there's gotta be more than this for desperate people do desperate things and we press in deep. There's gotta be more, gotta be more, gotta be more than this. Sam was here when Panam was doing how many years in ministry? Panam was doing 40 years in ministry. After Koinonia, Sam left this and went to Abuja to go and celebrate with him. Many people look at Panam and they feel, ah, this, see him. When you see a man with results, even if it is joke, something made it happen. Are you getting what I'm saying? If it was just like that, it would have happened everywhere. Something made it happen. Something made it happen. Something made it happen. There are some of you who are sick in your body. You are carrying all kinds of sicknesses. You've seen the miraculous thing God is doing in this place. But you are not yet interested. There are many of you who are supposed to be walking in acute levels of the anointing. See, with the kind of atmosphere you've been seeing. The presence of God that is supposed to find expression in your life should even scare people. But many of you, you come in and you move around. I see people who come from other states and once the service is over, they are looking for every and anything. It's gotta be more, gotta be more. Hallelujah. I remember in 2007, I was in Port Harcourt. I've told you the story. That was when the wealth anointing hit me. I know it entered me. God told me to give everything that I had home and abroad. I dragged it and when I went and dropped it, I went back outside. It was an overflow like this. I went outside. I sat down angry. Not angry, but ha! Ah, I knew I gave my Isaac. I knew this one was not Ishmael because there was nothing again. My faith was not hanging on anything. And when I sat down, the Lord spoke to me very clearly. He said, son, from today you have entered wealth that was what the Lord told me he didn't say you are rich the Lord told me you have entered wealth hallelujah I will never forget four days after somebody calls me by 6 10 in the morning shaking under the anointing and saying is this Joshua Selman I say yes who are you who gave me your number he said that's not the issue please send me your account number I say who are you you know so that you will not be a 419 person 
when an anointing is on your life it is on your life it has come if it's not there you can fake it you can say i know koinonia i know everything if it is on your life it will be evidence to everybody hmm. he said the spirit of elijah doth rest upon elijah Tonight we are going to pray. Greatness is what God wants to give us in this season. And let me tell you, if you will pray tonight from the depths of your heart, you will receive something. There are many of you, your ministry will accelerate if that healing anointing comes upon your life. There are many of you, you have prophetic graces. There are many of you, you are, you are totally confused. There's free counseling here. By the grace of God, People criticize me and say I, I am not accessible. On Mondays, I'm, I'm sitting and meeting people from morning till night. Till night. Anybody, no discrimination. I don't delegate people. I sit down and listen to people and by the wisdom of God, we hear what God has to say. There are people who are sitting. Do you know there are people who live around this neighborhood who have never come for Koinonia? They will just bring chair and sit down outside and enjoy it and say, I know Koinonia more than you. Whereas other people are coming from Kaduna. We are the desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. We are the desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. We are desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. We are desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. Hallelujah. Where's Morgan? I think he, he, was, he sent me a text about his genotype. There are people who still doubt. They think we are faking it here. Hallelujah. From the day pastor jakes hallelujah and his wife to be were healed their genotypes changed from as to aa from that day we have seen that miracle again and again there are some of us trusting god but you see that and say is it really true again and again you hear of all kinds of testimonies god blessing people hiv whole families have been healed of hiv with medical proofs i'm not an idiot we are not liars here we don't fake anything if it doesn't happen it did not happen you were with me yerima where is yerima not here were you in in mina the crusade we had it was jodika where is he these guys follow me for my meetings and they know the things that god did the PFN people, by the second day of that crusade, look, they lined sick people. There were all kinds of crippled people, deaf and dumb. I've, I've never seen heterogeneous miracles in quantity and quality. I, I knew an anointing came upon me. But there's somebody, you have been coming every week. You are so used to it now you are waiting for the meeting to finish whereas someone traveled and said lord if you are real i have left all the way and i've come if it's to die here kill me here and the person will get up and live with an anointing i met a woman in abuja and the woman looked at me and she said man of god your messages that i've not listened to they are not more than four i have never seen you but i've listened to the messages there are some of you here we, we, we mortgage the millions and millions of naira that would have made from tape and CD ministry so that nobody will have an excuse not to hear the word of God. I listen to every koinonia message, every. I don't sit down and say, it's Joshua Selman. I listen. When there is a prophecy, I get down on my knees and I open up my heart. I don't want to be the kind of man of God that is blessing others and dying. It must work in my own life. Hallelujah. There are many of you, you are seeing tomorrow Annie is going to get married. How many of you remember when I prophesied at the beginning of the year that the Lord told me there will be supernatural marriages even for people who did not expect? I'm sure many of you had it and say it's just one of those things. The trouble is that 
many of us always think that these things are just joke or a way of carrying out a program i wish you knew the spiritual preparations that go through for one coin on your service one coin on your service tonight we are going to pray we are going to contend for this anointing for greatness because it's available anything listen anything that is not working in your life you have not known how to receive it because it is available here and now rise up on your feet hallelujah we are going to pray in these few moments please i want you to pray whatever is this if your chair is distracting you pack it up we are going to enter a, a moment of prophetic prayer there is something we need to travail and birth in our spirit the goal is not for joshua selman to be one great superstar all of us i believe are custodians of this mystery you can step into levels of glory there are some things that can begin to work in your heart lift up your voice listen hold on the first prayer point is a prayer point of repentance you're going to say lord i repent about talking about any man of god at all i repent i've been the one carrying my big mouth castigating people from today i repent lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray inside and outside lord i repent lord i repent lord i repent matoko protoko sopata i repent in the name of jesus i repent pray koinonia pray lekete prosko do boko sopa baba 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 mata prata shakata lekete prekete balarabos monto prondos ko prende shakate lekete proko do balarabos i repent oh god I repent for castigating custodians of the mysteries of God. I repent for disregarding men and women that have been trusted to be stewards of the mysteries that produce dominion and authority. Kata ba 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 ba, rakata ba ka press kapete, lekata ba kate, rakata ba kata, shoto ba ko sopata, mente prente ko soto liana maka, raba ba 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 ba, pray, 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 shake te te kata ba, open your mouth and pray, don't look at anybody, shata ta ba la rabash, those outside pray. There's enough space for you to pray. Walk around and pray and say, Lord, from today, I shut my mouth. I shut my mouth. From today, I celebrate what you are doing in the body of Christ. I may not understand it, but I celebrate it. Hatabarata koshoto bababa. Lembreke tekete. Rekete koshoto bababa. Your breakthrough is in the hands of anointed vessels. They are custodians of the stewards of the mysteries of the kingdom. They are stewards. The anointing has been given to them. Please pray. That's how it works. Pray. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. From today, I repent. I will never find myself castigating a man of God. From today, I receive grace to appreciate, to celebrate,
and receive of the grace that they have prayer point number two say lord now i know that there are graces available my life is in need of the ministry of certain graces visit me tonight lift your voice and pray my life oh god is in need of the anointing upon your servants that anointing can terminate terminal disease it can open you up to new realms of power please pray pray some of you are just watching pray everything we are going through there is an anointing that can take you out of it there are stewards of the mysteries of the kingdom whatever you are going through there are anointings that can take you out of it if you can see it if you can celebrate it if you can recognize it you will come out of it hallelujah hallelujah there are many of us listen every relationship you enter is not working it means that there is something you need to have there are great vessels that god has anointed reverend funke felix adejumo dr mrs becky and when have you taken their materials to say lord the anointing on these women it must come and resolve these marital issues you can brag around waste your time and remain unmarried forever or take a step and change your life there are books by kenneth copeland on prosperity there are books by oyedeko there are books by david Ibiome. these are men that carry prosperity mantles it's obvious everybody knows that they carry it you can argue it but they carry it their programs are free on air when it's time your job is to castigate and criticize and compare revelation and condemn the man and say this revelation is too childish pray and say lord let me locate the grace that is required to take me to the next level lift your voice and pray show me show me the mystery Oh, show me the grace. Oh, 
Soto Pekete, 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 And the servant of Saul told him, Sheila. He said, Come, let's go to a city. Sheila. For there is a man of God there. Sheila. When we meet him, he will reveal Sheila. to us where this ass is lost. Sheila. And they went. Sheila. They took an offering and they went. And before they came, Samuel had seen them and he took Saul. He said, Is it not because God that has anointed you? Hallelujah. Listen, you are going to pray. There are graces and mantles that God has put upon this ministry. You can choose to argue it. But if you believe, you can place a demand with, with, with passion in your heart. And say, oh Lord, whatever is working here, can't it work in my life? Can't it work in my life? Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. 
I'm going to mention a few graces and you will pray them into your heart. Hallelujah. See. It's not enough. Listen. It's not enough to know Bible. It doesn't solve your problem. It's not enough to know Bible. Fire, fire. When the spirit of revelation comes upon you, you will know not just what Bible says, but how to activate the principle. You are going to pray and say, Lord, let the spirit of revelation fall upon me tonight. Come on now, Koinonia. Lift your voice and say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, open my eyes, open my eyes. To, see the mystery to see the mystery behind wealth and prosperity. Pray one more time. Many of you will be surprised. Say, open my eyes, oh God. Show me the mystery. What did you show the mystery? And
behind the principles behind the principles there is a hidden truth when you find it you are on your way to glory when you find it you are on your way to glory oh pay the price pay the price now pay the price now pay the price now pay the price now Hallelujah. Lord, show us, O God. The Bible says in Jeremiah 33, verse 3, it says, Call unto me and I will answer. I will show you. Hallelujah. The next prayer point we are going to pray. You're going to say, Lord, separate me for influence. Listen, you will never be able to legislate. See, I see a lot of people. How many of you have seen people go to places and they want to show that I am the boss? When a mantle for influence is on you, you can go to a place and hide and they will still come and pick you out. It's an anointing. You don't try to claim it and say you didn't give me a seat. He said, because thou hast lovest righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, even thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness above, above. Oh, lift your voice and say, This meeting is called koinonia every time men look at your life there is a presence you must carry you must carry the manifest presence of god otherwise we are faking it we're not talking of power we're not talking of people falling down we're talking of a, you introduce an atmosphere a presence that everyone around you whether at work in class at home when you are seated there is a presence everyone comes around you and they know that there is a presence upon your life you're going to pray say oh god the mystery that governs the revelation of your presence. Release it upon my life. Your presence. I'm tired of struggling. 
Hallelujah. We are going to pray. There is the yoke destroying burden removing anointing in this place. Oh yes, there is. Absolutely. The yoke destroying burden removing anointing that you can take and command all kinds of deliverances you step into a place and chains are broken no matter how hardened that spirit is listen hallelujah you are going to pray and say lord the power to break chains and smash the gates of hell. Oh, May it jump upon me right now. Lift your voice and pray. Ah, yes, Lastly, before I pray for you, one of the biggest secrets of my life is my passion for God. It's not just love for Him. There is an addiction for God that if you do not have, you will never enter certain realms of glory. There is an addiction. Everywhere I go, I carry this like a cancer. There is an addiction. Many of you are going to pray and say, Lord, give me an addiction for you. An addiction for the kingdom. Let me love you with my life. Let nothing be too great that I cannot give you. Let nothing be too great. Let me love you with my life. Let me love you with my life. Let 
When you get to this level, Sheba. you will see the glory of God. Sheba. You will see the hand of God. Sheba. His hand will rest Sheba. upon you. Sheba. And then you will become a living wonder. Brando, Sheba, it's Brando. like you are, it's like oil is dripping. That's the realm that says, Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runs over. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everybody, and receive something that will take you to a new level of greatness. I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, I believe. I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe. Sing it one more time. The Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you from the depth of my heart. An anointing will mark you tonight. Lift your hands, everyone. Father, this is not the work of a man. This is not the desire for a man. I am nothing without you. But my God, if you have anointed me, I pray that upon everybody in this place, literally everybody, this mark that you showed me in the spirit for greatness, my God, I pray that as I count three, may it come, at least let everybody be touched. One, two, Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Outside. Take it now. Take it now. Mark for greatness. Mark for greatness. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive it. Take it. Take it. It's yours. I release an anointing. It comes to your life altering your destiny for good I prophesy greatness 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 I prophesy from the realm of the spirit from the realm of the heaven I prophesy upon your life. Be great. 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 Rise to a new level. Rise to a new dimension. Spiritually. 
rise to a new dimension financially rise to a new dimension societally rise to a new dimension maritally rise to a new dimension health wise rise to a new dimension this is holy ground I cause every infirmity in anyone's body Lord in response to this healing mantle confirm your word one more time if there is a miracle mantle upon this ministry right now every sick body be healed now be healed now be healed now I cause HIV, I cause cancer, I cause tuberculosis, I cause blindness, I cause lameness, every blood disease, I cause you now, every genotype that is SS, we change it to AA now, we change it to AA now. anyone been molested in dreams by any satanic devil she in back. the name of the Lord Jesus I command the fire of God the fire of God to burn every devil right now right now every devil let them go now I agree with you tonight whatever has limited you you have done your best you know you need a miracle you have done all you need to know and you know if God does not step in you can't move further than this tonight in the name that is above all names just like Aaron and Hor lifted the hands of Moses, I command, may those limitations give way now. I don't care what they are. I don't care what they are. If there is a God in heaven, I command those limitations disappear now. Disappear now. Marital limitations disappear now. Financial limitations disappear now. Academic limitations. I speak to every department, every institution, academic limitation. Bow now. Bow now. Lift your hands. I want to prophesy over your exams. Some of you need the hand of God. Your assessments are nothing to write home about. Wapata. Cheer up. There is a supernatural dimension to this realm. Oh, it's, it's not all about your faculty. Wapata. Believe it. It's not all about your department. Listen. Every lecturer was a baby in the hand of one woman. Yes. No man born of a woman has what it takes to victimize you. Lift your hands. Father, I pray that beginning from Monday, let there be strange academic visitation. Strange academic visitation. Strange academic visitation. Beginning from Monday, let there be strange academic visitation. 
Let it appear as makeup tests. Oh. Let it appear as assignment. Shut up. Let it appear Shut up. as missing scripts. Yes. Breakthrough Pate. in your academics Pate. in the name of Jesus Christ. For those of you who have any challenge at faculty level, at senate level, at departmental level, especially for those of you who are having an extra year or an extra semester, we graduate you in this place now. We graduate you in this place now. We graduate you in this place now by the power of the highest. I command it by the spirit of prophecy. We graduate you in this place now. Hallelujah. As you study for your exams, may my God open your eyes to see what others may not see. In the name of Jesus. As you study where you are confused, may my God come in and show you where to study. In the name of Jesus, you will see your questions in dreams. I prophesy it. You will see some of them in visions. God will lead you to pass questions that carry the same question. Every spirit that comes upon certain people during exams is when it's during exams you fall sick or you black out or your exam card is missing. All such manifestations, we stop them now. Amen. We stop them now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Have I not said, ye are gods? Have I not said, be fruitful? Have I not said, multiply? Have I not said, this and that? But that's not my reality. Now, you must have the meekness to admit that I have a role to play. Not God, where are you? That prayer is not very accurate. Sometimes it's just a an expression of our humanity and god understands but crying and say god where are you is not the issue the issue is lord i am here show me that which i need to see and do are we together now yeah habakkuk chapter 2 when you read from verse 1 it says i will set myself upon the tower i'll stand upon my watch set myself upon the tower that i will see what he will say to me so he's saying it Bishop Oedeko says, faith is not just hearing what God is saying. Faith is seeing, seeing what he's saying and doing what he's saying. Tonight the sick will be healed. Mike said something very powerful and prophetic while he was here taking the testimonies. And he said, God will address long standing issues. Do you believe that? Long standing issues long-standing issues are issues that have refused to go like a bulldog holding on to your destiny everybody has ss or as in your family and you have prayed and prayed and the devil says you are joking i'm here oh, i'm here to stay but this night you can say satan uh -uh. no your finances you can trust god for grace You've been trusting God for a job. Nothing is happening. You have now joined all the faithless people roaming around saying, there's no job in Nigeria. It's how it is working. You see that? You have allowed life to twist and turn you away. Listen, I'm challenging you tonight. Return back to your convictions. I know that life has pushed you so much to a point where you believe that baby cannot come again. I prayed for a dear woman yesterday. Um, very big, great woman. And I was so touched, almost cried when the woman told me that she had been barren for 25 years. She got married in 1992. If it's a lady, I think she's okay to marry at that time. 25 is good enough. 25 solid years trusting God. Someone may be here. Maybe you are 25 years and your issue came with you from birth. 
you know you start counting from when you are born so technically it's more than because you start counting from when you are born but the whole issue can be there demonic are you willing to allow the devil take advantage of you or are you willing to say no 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 i i, I this thing called ss i know that you are there in my body and this and that but you have to live today this lack of favor i carry bad luck everywhere what is making i mean somebody promises to help you all of a sudden changes his mind as if he, as if a charm came on him no there are many of us who are walking under extreme levels of close heaven extreme you can look at a life and know not one area is working that's a call for concern nothing is working father alive mother alive six children graduates no job the only person employed is a driver that's not a good testimony brothers and sisters something is wrong for as long as you say that's how our people are this issue of our people you must throw it away and embrace the word of god from my village where we come from where what do you mean where you come from the bible says he that cometh from above is above all if you come from your village you will look like them if you come from above you must change your identity i come from above in my whole family everybody suffers lives from hand to mouth there are hard do you know that not many poor people there are people who they, their issue is not laziness they are walking under an extremely close heaven when you are walking under an extremely close heaven if you like become the managing director you will still go through a hard life hardship has nothing to do with money or lack of it it's a spirit that makes things laborious for people something that should take two weeks can take 10 years is god challenging us tonight i really want to challenge you there are people who never do anything well the first time they have to do it three or four times before it ever works who says it must be like that regardless of the assistance that is within their disposal it's a terrible spirit a woman gives birth to five or six children five of them are irresponsible people not knowing their left from their right and only the last born now is trying to even know god drinks once in a while and knows god here so he's not even balanced that's not a good life you can change it are we together that this sickness in my body listen i have been sick oh don't think i'm just talking nonsense i have been sick let me tell you i know what it means to be sick hopelessly sick you go to a hospital and at a point you know that this thing is trial and error there's no certainty i know what i'm saying you can walk in divine health it's a realm that is a reality not just divine healing divine health Are we together you can walk in the favor of god you don't have to be a millionaire to be favored when god grants you access to helpers and people such that as your need comes there are people to shield you and that's favor that's favor money is not everything there are things i have seen people with money who are helpless in the face of certain things favor you can be a millionaire and not be favored the question is how it came you paid your life you paid everything you paid your faith in god for it you are you are a poor man and you are a failure let me tell you how you know your heavens are opened remember last week's message the degree to which men arise to help you brothers and sisters is a classic sign that god is with you it's not about saying i can do it when a man arises to help you makes it his responsibility to see your life move forward that's favor tonight i trust god that we will receive favor we need it you see how the climate is harsh in this country we need favor have i not said have i not said have i not said but you shall die have i not said but you shall die have i not said but you shall remain poor 
have i not said but you may remain sick have i not said but you may not move forward in your life but tonight you can make up your mind and say lord you have said it i believe it i act upon that truth and it must manifest it must manifest some of us are here as you're seated right now you are angry with other people angry with god angry with your father let me tell you something about the spirit of grief listen grief is a spirit and bitterness is a spirit i used to think there were very little issues but i have discovered that they play a major role in robbing us from receiving from god are we together if only my father got a good job by now he would have given me one of his houses see how i'm starting life from scratch and you are angry you may never move forward are we together see how my head of department annoyed me today and you rob yourself from receiving see how the bike man eh, wanted to take away my change i said there is a many 10 naira he refused and because of 10 naira you miss a major miracle Part of your preparation tonight will be to take away anything that can stand the way of the free flow of the power of God. From hatred to bitterness to envy and all of these things that have that sustain the ability to rob you and destroy you. And you open up your heart and say, Lord, you have said it. I'm ready to see it manifest in my life. Are we together? It doesn't take so long. I was so blessed by the testimony of our dear sister you know i met two people while i traveled i had prayed for them some time ago two of them over the issue of um, um barrenness there's been this uncommon grace that i have personally seen in this season for releasing supernatural fruitfulness especially in the area of children strange miracles very strange miracles there are probably people seated here that's all you pray for you can give away your job and give away anything god give me a child do you believe he can do it whether they say you have a womb or not that's just leave the doctor's report there's no doctor that knows everything in the human body even us we are still learning many things we are calling we are changing the names as we grow so there's no guarantee there is no guarantee that what the doctor said is final authority there are people who they've told them you have to live one week and after 10 20 years they are still standing are we together do you know that when you travel to the villages you see people who ordinarily if you diagnose them you just put a drip right immediately but they are the ones walking maybe it's the mechanic the only mechanic in the village fixing truck he will carry it by himself and put it and that person is sick every sign but simply because someone has not told him he believes he's healthy and he will live like that 97 he's still kicking are we together yeah you don't have any child you lose your teeth nobody feeds you so you better keep them your dentition must be complete at 97 you cannot walk you are in trouble nobody will help you and you see people 102 103 but the informations we have received have conditioned us to agree with certain things so they look at you and they say kai you look pale you just say yes i look pale you you know nothing is wrong with you but just because you read online and they say once you see a pimple here and here is a sign of ebola and exactly where they described is where you say no 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 i don't have ebola and after 10 minutes say, let me better go to the hospital they will now say you don't have ebola but you are sick lie down now we have doctors here doctors don't feel bad I'm, I'm on your side but i'm just saying look we need to edit a lot of stories we have received do you know if you were not told certain things you would have gotten more results in your life than now something you had discouraged you something someone told you out of sympathy and a sincere heart you were believing god and you know you just knew that look this thing will work and somebody told you he said look let me tell you something eh you see me i'm 70 years old i started this your madness when i was 19 till now god has not responded 
I can't say he's not faithful, oh, but <laughs> this is your gym gym. You will soon rest. And immediately, your passion dies down. The devil is a liar tonight. Every truth in the word of God is available for the believer. Die believing it. Die acting upon it. And you will commit God's integrity. You're not going to be careless over it and get a result. Brothers and sisters, I would die believing the word of God. If I, if I die, it's over. You can talk. You talk to a dead body. But not when I'm alive. I believe his word. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe in miracles. I believe in signs and wonders. I believe in the power of the Holy Holy Ghost, yes, I do believe. I believe in miracles. I believe in signs and wonders. I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. believe him do you believe him you are here seated do you believe that that devil can leave you there is a spirit that oppresses you you can't sleep i went through it as a preacher oppressed by demon spirits people told me it's, it's not it doesn't happen well it happened to me brothers and sisters it did it happened to me the day i was free i knew till tomorrow do you know let me tell you something brothers and sisters one activity of a demon spirit in your life can work like an octopus close almost 10 doors one spirit 10 doors you will be addressing it here finances favor open door whereas one wicked spirit sitting on your destiny you may say it, it doesn't matter you watch the lives of people let me tell you when most people come out they come out over the most obvious issue the most obvious one is the one you try to address but when the power of god comes it's like a drug it will scan your body and deal with everything it's only because you need a child now that's why you think what is wrong with you is barrenness it's a spirit that has been enjoying your ignorance for a long time it's just that you've not had an opportunity to give birth so you do not know are we together now There are people carrying the spirits of failure upon their lives. They will tell you it's because of this job. They leave this job and go to this one. They leave this and do this. Listen, when you see different conditions producing the same result, there is a spirit behind it. Whether good or bad, you take a man somewhere he excels. You take him somewhere he excels. There is a spirit sponsoring that result. The same way you take a man and give him any opportunity, he will blow it. There is a spirit. This is a revelation to someone already to tell you it's not that they didn't give you the job. It wouldn't have made any difference. It's not about the job. You must address the spirit causing failure in your life and family. Are we together now? Yeah. There are people who do well in every family they rise up they enjoy the blessings of the lord and overnight they crash as if they do you know let me tell you something there are people i know today honestly speaking 10 15 20 years ago these people were like the happening people in every area influence finances today today they will cough and there's nobody to arise and help them it's a spirit you, you will now come and think, okay, it's just because this one didn't go to school. No, no, no. There is a spirit. 
you may write 20 prayer requests and those 20 prayer requests are caused by one just one spirit and the moment the power of god touches you you will start seeing a ripple effect of open doors that's what usually happens all of a sudden somebody who promised to help you after six years now says uh -uh, i told you to send me your number that day no he just thinks he's realizing it but something made him the king could not sleep and he called he said come uh, bring me this mordecai did this so 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 and so did they reward him mordecai had done that he had never offended the king as far as the bible records yet they did not bless him remembrance does not happen through charm there is a spirit that sponsors men to remember you do you know brothers and sisters i have learned through life that the mountain that stands before you is within the capacity of someone to crumble and solve it for you but until the spirit of god moves those people they will never help you don't forget my teaching on the gift of men listen to that teaching again it's a powerful secret one of the most there are seven mysteries and secrets that god gave me one of it is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers overnight your life can change because the right person steps into your life overnight you can die because the wrong person stepped into your life there are some of us what you are receiving tonight is grace for the right people to come there are too many people in your life none of them is right all the trouble in your life can be traced to certain individuals that hope their way through your life no have i not said it's up to you to make the world work right now and we're going to engage the world this night violently violently please drop your pride drop everything and let's cry before the god of heaven and say lord step in step in step in change my story don't pretend like everything is working change my story lord i thank you a and b and c area they are working well i give you the glory but lord this area i've i've come before you tonight trusting you for grace trusting you for grace trusting you for grace he reigns he reigns he is standing by my side to bring his word to pass he reigns he reigns how God is an awesome he reigns he reigns he reigns he reigns standing by my side listen to me you may be outside you may be online it doesn't matter if you cannot insist listen if you are embarrassed to be desperate about your miracle you do not deserve it please hear me let me repeat myself if you are embarrassed and ashamed to be desperate about your miracle you do not deserve it sir you do not deserve it there must be a desperation you want the anointing you don't you don't pursue it passively and carelessly and casually and hope it to come upon your life no sir no sir you will seek it like a treasure that is missing hallelujah tonight i want us to pray don't don't look faith is not foolishness 
this is a factory where God produces miracles so you, you, you are going to have to trust God get angry over what is not working give thanks for what is working but insist insist let me show you something sit down let me show you something before we pray John 15 if you can give it to us John 15 let's look at something Jesus said John 15 let me show you how passionate Jesus is in us producing results. John 15. We'll read from verse 5. Verse 5 down to 8. Listen, this is what Jesus is saying. I am the vine. Who is the vine? Who is the vine? But he says, ye are the... I've taught again, the fruits come from the... You are the fruit-bearing part of me. Are we together? When you come to a tree and you don't find root, um, um, fruit, you don't start insulting the root. You look at the branch. That's the obvious part. Now, the branch depends on the vine. However, the branch is the fruit-bearing part. It displays the beauty and the strength of the root. And Jesus says, I am the vine. The invisible equation. The invisible part. And then he says, you are the branches. Listen, he that abided in me and I in him. What will happen? Please read on. The same person will do what? Bear how much? Much fruit. Then he says, for without me, ye can do nothing. We're reading to verse 8. He says, if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. Seven. If ye abide in me uh -huh, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you. Read verse 8 if you are a Christian. One, two, read. Hearing. I want you to change bear much fruit with produce results ready let's read it now herein is my father glorified that he produce results so hold on hold on don't rush so by producing results you testify that everything i said in the word you make men believe me when your life produces result so if 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 your life does not produce results men have a right to doubt me are we together because you are the other part of god remember he's the head and you are the body but this is a mystery you don't see that head but the body is a reflection of the quality of the head i always give an an, an, an analogy with with a jimmy's uh, um, child the daughter every time she comes you see her well dressed happy he takes care of her um he loves her but much more than that for his name's sake are we together if you see the daughter running around no shoes no nothing you look at him and look at his wife and say why are you people irresponsible nobody blames a child for being a child they blame the parents for not being good parents and so god is saying my testament is under pressure on earth and i am depending on the fruits that you produce when you are healed then that word jehovah rapha now becomes proven in the lives of men nobody can no longer say god is not a good god god wants you to produce results you have to understand this it's not something you have to coerce him he wants it for his namesake it is in his interest praise the lord when i hear that anyone who is part of this ministry is doing well in any area i am happy i feel very proud of them i'm very very happy if you're not doing well i'm there for you but if you're doing well i'm proud of you i'm still proud of you even if you are not doing well but you should do well you have to do well are we together yeah hearing is my father glorified give it to us again that you bear much fruit results you know many people say results don't matter it's a joke what else is the is the yardstick if results don't matter what else don't you know that even loving god and knowing god is results 
right the dear lady shared a testimony of a brother who was drinking and smoking anything available and now all of a sudden the guy is madly in love with god that's transformation that's results if he goes back to his friends and they say can you taste it as usual he say no 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 i'm a changed person it's not the issue of temptation i am changed transformed by a reality are we together when people who have concluded about you and said sam you will never rise and all of a sudden you rise like an edifice and they say everybody from your village does not rise and all of a sudden you rise pastor alpha ah you won't go anywhere oh. listen do you know i love the way god is he will allow your enemies to finish talking then he'll say let's start proving them wrong one by one by one by one that's what god is doing to someone who has carried his big mouth to talk against your god in this year of triumph god will surprise them do you know listen there are people who scorn at believers happily every time they see people loving god they sit down and discuss them and to a point that some of you are embarrassed your phone rings it's a christian ringtone you you, you off it quickly because you you don't want to shame this god who is disappointing you my god the bible says when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like what damn it will be like a dream he will say no 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 which promise which promise are you talking about they said the one you know he said no no you are you are joking because people stratify us and keep us at a level and don't want us to rise so that their prophecy will be self-fulfilling but then when the god of heaven is ready to pick people up you know i was blessed by the testimony of a gentleman i don't know if he's here the guy in kogi that got a job what a blessed testimony all of a sudden god just changed his story look at the lady that god healed of hiv i know some of you think it's a lie this is what we are trying to destroy because if how else do you want to even carry the healing anointing if you are still calculating the physics behind the healing of whatever how did a and b become c you are not a christian because the bible said my sheep hear my voice the voice of another they will not hear this is what makes people to carry news all around thinking every man of god is faking miracles because according to their understanding issue they will not directly come and say we don't believe it but the miracle will happen right before their eyes and they say no 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 it let's let's verify when the devil afflicts you you don't verify it at once you believe it people come and say satan spoke to me he said go and kill yourself why didn't you call us for verification but when god speaks now people you know it just tells you the mindset of people how much people do not believe god please tonight be a believer be a believer don't just stand up don't just lift up hands to receive as though um let's see if god will no god will change your story and beat you beyond your imagination hallelujah one of the things god told me will happen tonight is a dramatic outpouring of the mantle of favor i've been praying do you know listen do you know i, I don't share too much of my personal experiences but i prayed for one year for the ministry of the gift of men one year one year lord send strategic people to my life koinonia is blessed to have men look we are going to pray for the gift of men you hear me say this thing all the time if a man does not show up in your life you are in trouble you are in trouble or if the wrong person shows up it's still the same thing as as breakthrough not coming because it will not move your life forward one man showing up in your life can say david Dam, come i i just feel like blessing you you sang a song and i heard and i want to bless you what does it take to produce your album Oh, sir to produce one song in lagos is two hundred and fifty thousand. you say okay how many tracks do you have 10 and then you are there thinking the man is like you and he's listening to you when you finish he now says this is a check of four million naira please when you do everything let me know and then you leave the man and say so what is the catch he said there is no catch when it is favor there is no catch god will just surprise you and leave you like that somebody will just build a house it's called prepared blessings see if you don't believe in what i'm telling you you can go home honestly because this is what we're going to deal with tonight 
triumph thanks be to god who causes us always 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 to triumph always to triumph that you come for koinonia empty-handed and as soon as the service is over someone walks to you and say i don't know you but god sent me into your life to say from now till september every month i should be giving you twenty thousand. you don't believe it can happen i hear you are five in your family and your dad is dead your mom is dead from today i become a father in this family simple for starters move out of this place into a two-bedroom flat look let me tell you something it's called quantum leap i'm trusting that god will take us into this dimension david you will do a little experiment eh you will take three steps and then you will jump forward like a frog ready now watch let me show you the difference between progress and a quantum leap are you ready this is progress two three now jump this is a quantum leap i know it's a little analogy but see if you if there is no provision like this your lifetime is too small for you to be successful at the rate humans move you will never build a house till you die at the rate your salary is being paid you will never do anything useful at the rate church services are held you will never know god with the amount of the sermons you need a quantum leap i have witnessed it in my life many people here are witnesses of it where god will just all of a sudden change somebody's story i tell you i feel the anointing as i'm saying this this is what many of us need tonight a quantum leap this issue of moving here and there okay thank god you are now employed you are earning forty thousand. let's be sincere let's be sincere in the name of jesus christ who died and rose again in how many years will forty thousand build a house for you now i know many people say it does not matter it matters to any responsible person how much does it take to marry forty thousand the auditorium is how much how much does it take to a child's school fees a child's school fees right now a child who cannot talk the school fees is hundred hundred and something thousand to just teach them how to play and you plan to have five you better listen to what i'm telling you this is why people are, are depressed depressed someone is driving and talking to himself till he dies till he dies because of depression we need a quantum leap Where the grace of God comes upon your life, divine acceleration, triumph, triumph, shaka pataya, triumph by the Spirit. There are ministries that need quantum leaps. If all you do is to invite members through posters, let me tell you the truth get set for empty pews. Please help those under the anointing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? if all you want to do in life is to move like men men i'm ready more than ever let me tell you it's like a flight i've been having an interesting experience with the holy spirit in the last two three weeks my goodness is is a is is a preparation for a quantum leap this man you see has gone no I'm, I'm i'm only saying you better believe god and arise don't let anybody tell you don't listen to him run away from them they won't help you when you are in trouble You'll be surprised to see how the vicissitudes of life will distract you. All these problems we are solving is to give us space to pursue our assignment. Not to build a house for building's sake. Not to buy a car for buying a car's sake. Not to eat well for whatever it is. So that if you decide to lock yourself in your house to worship God for 24 hours, nobody will call you and say, why are you worshiping God? You can't be in church and someone calls you and says you better come and on the machine on which machine you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible and we're standing here 
only because for you move mountains you cause walls to soar and with your power you perform miracles there is none that's impossible I was standing here only because you came listen Brothers, let me talk to you. Do you know right now? Please come. When you see a gentleman like this, do you know if this gentleman is successful, many elders will ask him, what are you doing? In other words, how come your life is this fast? Society has made people's growth rate so slow. If you buy a car at 45, they say, wow, wonderful. You are responsible. But you buy a car at 22 and see people say you're a witch. If they see a young man succeed, you see everybody saying, uh -uh, at this life, two plus two, it doesn't add up. God wants to accelerate the kingdom. The coming of Jesus is near. There is a lot we must do for the kingdom. Listen, you can't spend your life looking for money. It's a cost. It's a cost. It's a cost to spend your life looking for what to eat and what to drink. You will never serve God that way. Pray eight hours. When you are hungry, you are joking. You may endure, but your children will not endure. Listen, hold on. Please, I want you to pay attention to what I'm telling you. You see me preaching from my heart. Otherwise, we'll keep playing games and at the end, many Christians will backslide, Pastor Jakes. They will leave God. How many believers do you know? Who are not standing again because the reality of life we said this thing many years people insulted us and said we we're noisemakers those people today some of them are not born again they are not even in christ again they've gotten into all kinds of things survival is a cause you should resolve that issue and spend your life serving god if you are a brother here when i say pray please pray pray the sisters can join but brothers you must pray you shouldn't stand and just be, leave any man of God thing and cry. Listen, there are some of you as you are listening to me right now. There are seven siblings or six who are waiting for you to take care of them. You have your own mother. You have your own father. And I, how are you going to live? That's the cause of depression. And then God calls you into ministry. No job. You want to marry. You want to move forward. You, you must be a joker you must access another mystery brothers and sisters you must trust god for a quantum leap tonight there is a grace there is a grace the name is a grace there is an unction that helps men and expedites their process in life the climate is too harsh for an average young man the probability for establishment is is almost like passing through the eye of a needle the factors are too many And we're standing here only because you came. And we're standing here only because you made a way. Made a way. When our backs were against the wall, and it looked as if it was over. hallelujah there are people here listen home and abroad their entire families are earning 200,000 but every week they are doing physiotherapy and chemotherapy for someone I heard of a woman 70,000 naira every week God is my witness they spend on is it physiotherapy or chemotherapy or something like that and there is no guarantee the person you see how the devil works until all your money finishes then the person will now die peacefully and leave you with trouble how many of you right now nobody to help you in your life lift your voice in one minute and cry cry for the help of God Please go 
koinonia pray pray sabakato sebara balaraba sakata paroko to sopreketi shekete pereko sopra na balaraba balaraba Lord, I cry. Hear me, O oh God. My life must make progress. My life must make progress. Outside, are you praying? My life must make progress. My life must make progress. Hallelujah. 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 Prayer point number two. Listen. Listen. I want us to break out of cycles tonight. Are we together? I'm going to minister to you, but there are people here. You are seeing the patterns of your families reproducing themselves in your life nobody rises beyond the level go to school or not it's a pattern you must break don't watch it happen and say it's all right nothing solves itself by itself you must engage it with faith lord this poverty thing i've seen it in my family we are not lazy people but i'm seeing it come this lack of being serious with god lift your voice and break every cycle lift your voice and command exempt yourself exempt yourself Accept yourself. Are you praying? Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. There are people you see who never last in marriage three years no matter what happens maximum three years one nonsense must happen and scatter the marriage are we together there are some of you listen the mysteries that destroy your family is men keep cheating you whether in business whether anytime there is wickedness you are the only one it happens to it's not a coincidence when they want to scam someone you are the first they find when accident is about to happen is when you are crossing the road the car will hit your leg i'd like you to pray and say no more i insist i've been keeping quiet about this but tonight i place a demand lift your voice no more no more no more it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder the yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing hallelujah hallelujah two more prayer points before i begin to minister to us listen hallelujah jesus said satan come to me and does not find anything of himself if satan finds what belongs to him in you he's authorized to destroy you we are going to pray and we are going to say lord whatever legal access the devil has over my life and destiny i apply the blood 
I invoke the mystery of the blood. Lift your voice and pray. Legal access. I apply the blood. Are you praying? I apply the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood on my children. I apply the blood. Pray on my husband, on my wife, on my business, on my ministry, on my job. I apply the blood. No divination, no witchcraft, no enchantment arising against my life shall prevail. standing keep standing everyone we are going to pray now i tell you i'm angry in my spirit luke 18 verse 1 please quickly luke 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable luke 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint verse 2 there's something I'm looking for. Saying, there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. Verse 3. And there was a widow in that city. And she came to him saying, avenge me of my adversary. Stop there. God is a God of vengeance. Listen, listen. I know that's the nasty side of God. But the God I serve is not only merciful. God, there are people who don't need mercy, they need vengeance. You don't pray if you don't believe it, but let me tell you something there is a God of vengeance. He said, Let God arise and let all his enemies be scattered. Lift your voice and cry, Lord, avenge. I cry for your vengeance over the works of darkness in my life, my family. Koinonia pray. Arise, Soko Topakaya. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. Oh God of vengeance, arise. Oh God of vengeance, arise against the wicked. Oh God of vengeance, arise. Oh God of vengeance. Arise against evil doers. Arise against they that seek to feed on the flesh of your people. Hallelujah. Listen. There was a man in the book of Esther called Haman. Have you heard about Haman? That man was conspiring to destroy the agenda of God. Not just the Jews. The agenda of God. The apple of his eyes. And then the Bible says through a lot of activities. When that plot was gotten, the king sent. And he said they should go and hang him. He already built a gallow in advance. In advance we live in a wicked world brothers and sisters let me tell you it's not all about vengeance but there is a dimension of it that is necessary if you must break through the wickedness of men is beyond imagination you are going to pray it again Lord there are powers that have tied down my life and my family arise oh God of vengeance arise oh God of vengeance arise oh God of vengeance hallelujah hallelujah listen listen i was told the story of a woman pastor jakes married a man that god had blessed 
and then the man died as soon as the man died strangers came from left right and center and told her you have no inheritance in this they stripped that woman to the last of everything banished her and her children to go men they will smile at you and talk against you in the secret and hope for tragedy to come upon your life so that they will rejoice in your pain no you rejoice in my pain the god of vengeance will arise for you i tell you only a wicked man will see someone in pain and rejoice over it he said rejoice not over me my enemies though i fall yet i will rise again how many of our parents were betrayed by their best friends they lost their job because of someone they knew was the person who signed the check sign them off say destroy them the bible says a man's enemies listen 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 koinonia i know many of us are young people but let me tell you when you become a leader or when you become one who is in any position of responsibility you will appreciate this prayer there are men who will kill you and bury you smiling they will kill you and bury you smiling when judas came to kiss jesus a kiss is a sign of love correct yet a man used that sign of love as a symbol to an enemy this is the guy this is how you will kill him how many people kissed you into your suffering today They kissed you with a stupid advice. And that's, that's what has landed your life today. They told you, stop tithing. These men of God are crooks. They have destroyed your life. Are we together? Tonight, I want us to engage the word. To engage the word with your spirit. If you insist, brothers and sisters, God will give you a breakthrough. If you insist, God will give you a breakthrough. Are we together now? I want you to pray one last prayer. And then I'll begin to minister by the Spirit. Lord, visit the root cause of my challenges. I may not know what it is. I only know the effect. Oh God, go to the root. He says every tree, the axe is placed at the root. Every tree my father has not planted. Lord, go to the root cause of the barrenness in my life. The root cause as to why finances cannot stay in my hands. The root cause. Are you praying? Shabakata la hallelujah hallelujah listen if after tonight's meeting you return with a testimony nobody will ask you to run to the house of god you will go by yourself do you know how many why many people never see god the truth is they are tired of lack of results they are tired of it jumping around doing all kinds of things yes you don't love god just for results but you've heard me say it again at a point in your christian experience results must come as consolations to your serving god visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight let me make an altar call let's start with the altar call first so that we'll finish right now please everyone standing no moving around outside your attention there are people right here everything we boast of is in christ if you are not in christ there is no guarantee please listen very carefully if you are not in christ there is no guarantee whatsoever are we together now so you are here 
we are talking about witchcraft you have joined us to pray congratulations but nothing will happen to you until there is a translation because when a man is not in Christ the Bible says he's in the kingdom of darkness the very domain of darkness are we together now so when that prayer of salvation is offered in faith there is a spiritual transfer it is only on that basis you can challenge darkness there are two cate categories of people very quickly I'm going to make the altar call quickly when you come pastor Jakes will lead you in prayer and then we'll take over and fly tonight and trust God to take us to a realm where we will never return never return to this level in the name of Jesus you are here and you are saying man of God is as if you are just prophesying to me you are right it's you I'm speaking to and I'm going to make an altar call one maybe two three minutes wherever you are outside I know there are lots of people you are saying man of God can God forgive me yes he can can God give me a new beginning absolutely no one has made it in my family you will be the first if and only you receive him he says as many as believed in him even to them that I mean as many as received him even to them that believed in him he gave them power to become power to become you do not have the power but you have the will and you can choose right now I'm going to make an altar call whether you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time or you want to rededicate your life man of God I gave my life to Christ but somehow things have gone haywire no problem you are welcome if you are outside run like there's fire on the mountain any of the overflows you are inside here you run out I will count one to five very quickly one run like there's fire on the mountain if you are thinking about it go back to your seat give Jesus praise please clear the way for them there are people running outside let Jesus Christ step into your destiny koinonia can you motivate them appreciate them as they come don't let any friend tell you why you disgracing yourself shame the devil over your life tonight God bless you keep coming man of God you don't know what I've done just make that step of faith and come quickly run to Jesus run to Jesus keep coming keep coming there are still more people there are still more people if you came with a friend and he's trying to stop you leave him alone and come run to Jesus Every one of us in front, can you just lift up your hands? Lifting up your hands is a sign of surrender. Are you following? Please just lift up your hands and pray this prayer sincerely from your heart. Jesus loves you. I want you to understand that. Just say, Dear Lord Jesus. Say it out loud. I want to hear you speak. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. I come before you. I ask for forgiveness for my sins. I believe in the power of your blood. I believe in the power of your salvation. Forgive me of for all my sins. Thank you for new life. Thank you for newness in Christ Jesus. From today, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. My spirit is new. My heart is new before God. In the name of Jesus. Still lift up your hands while I quickly pray for you. Father, thank you for these precious ones. Thank you for the power of your blood. My Father, I ask even as your hands are lifted up, let your love, Lord, descend upon them. I ask that, Lord, the love of God will permit, the love of Christ will be shared abroad in their hearts by the Holy Ghost. Thank you for their lives, God. Thank you for writing their names in the Lamb's Book of Life. We give you praise. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that indwells them now. Thank you for the Holy Spirit helping them to walk in your ways, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for your glory upon them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Please just look at me. Just the moment you turn, just in between the aisle, just you'll see somebody waving behind you. Please just follow him. We'd like to get your name, okay? Your name and some of your contact to get to pray with you. Hallelujah. God bless you.
precious saints, can we celebrate Jesus for this? Can we put our hands together and celebrate Jesus? Celebrate them. Congratulations. Congratulations. God bless you. Please, let's attend to them quickly so that they can come. We're about to pray now. Hallelujah. We're about to pray. Before we pray, let me talk to two people. There's one inside, one outside that God is visiting their family. There's a mighty anointing that will come on them. One sister, a sister or so, someone inside and someone in the overflow outside. The power of God is going to come on that person now. God is bringing a strange deliverance. I'm seeing a strange deliverance. Bring the person one inside one outside i just want to speak to them please quickly we have a lot to do tonight and we want to conserve time Lift your hands. I want to pray. Just bring the people. Father, end witchcraft now in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that the reign of darkness is over. Bring this lady for me. Free now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Free. I'm going to pray for you. There will be a mighty deliverance right now. Listen, what is deliverance? Deliverance is not crying and rolling on the floor. Deliverance is by the power of God separating you from the spirits and the influences that are responsible for the challenges in your life. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. I'm already seen in the spirit. Mighty. Especially today, God is visiting visitors. If you are here for the first time, God is visiting visitors in a very strange way. Lift your hands. Don't say anything. Just lift your hands. Just keep your hands lifted. Please bring them. Just keep your hands lifted. Keep your hands lifted. God is touching people. It's a foolish instruction, but it's what the Lord is telling me. Just keep your hands lifted. Like fire. It's coming on people inside and outside. Bring them out. God is visiting visitors. Visitors, visitors doesn't mean other people are not being touched, but particularly visitors. Father, spare not your hand, spare not your hand, spare not your hand. hallelujah praise the lord let me pray now father in the name of jesus christ i'm praying there are men and women here right now under strange influences that has tied their lives their destinies in the name that is above all names whoever under the sound of my voice inside and outside if there is any spirit motivating the tragedies in your life as we shout that name jesus there will be an eruption of fire in this place and all of a sudden god will begin ministering to people are you ready now at the count of three one two three they must go from their hiding place 
They must depart from their hiding place. They must depart from their hiding place at the sound of his voice. I command every spirit. I command every devil. Strange spirits tying down the destinies of men. I command you right now. There is mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. Mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. The power of witchcraft being broken. Being broken. Being broken. God is addressing issues of oppression. Oppression. Shakataya. It must end now. It must come to an end now. It must come to an end now. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a handwriting and I'm seeing setback and then slash delay. That's what God wants to deal with right now. God wants to deal with it. You don't need to know whether you belong to the category. The fire of God will locate you right now. Father, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, anyone under the sound of my voice, shakata bakata, under the yoke of setbacks, whether you are a visitor, whether you've been here for a long time, in the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave you now. I command that spirit to leave you now. The power of God is touching people. Delay, 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 delay. You are a strange spirit. I curse you by the God of heaven. Delay in destiny. Delay in achievement. That spirit, I cost that spirit. I cost that spirit. Bring the mommy out. There's a mighty deliverance happening to her. Delay over your family. Broken, 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 broken by the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me a strange instruction. Please, sisters, lay your hands on your womb. Lay your hands on your stomach. Something remarkable is going to happen here right now. There is a kind of deliverance God is doing. I don't know what I'm even doing. But Lord, I pray right now. This is not for everybody. But I am seeing the Lord is instructing that they lay their hands. And I'm going to pray a prayer for you. You'll be surprised. Every stranger hiding in any sister's body that is responsible for the manipulation of their destinies in the name of Jesus by this prophetic instruction at the count of three release them now. One, two, three. Release them now. Release them now. Them now release 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 their destinies release their destinies hallelujah Hallelujah. Johnson, 
Johnson. I'm hearing a name, Johnson. Johnson. Johnson, we are still praying, please. Johnson. My God, I tell you, I see this fire falling on sisters. I don't know what it is with ladies. God is, God is ministering a serious deliverance to ladies. Serious deliverance to ladies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are here in this place. Listen. You never rise beyond a certain level. It's not that you don't start. Please listen carefully. I'm speaking by the spirit. The moment is like there is a spiritual embargo. You get to that height. You must crash down wherever you are. I'm prophesying now and I'm praying for you. The power of God is looking for those people. The power of God is looking for those people. You rise to a level and fall. You rise to a level and fall. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Inside and outside, wherever you are, I release that fire like a messenger to your life. Like a messenger to your life. I cause that witchcraft. Now, I cause that witchcraft. Now. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a vision. My God, hold on. I'm seeing deliverance for children. Like little children. The power of God is coming on small children in this place. I'm seeing children being delivered. Some initiated into occultism. Some initiated into this. Let's just walk the way God is. Father, in the name of Jesus. I speak to every little child in this place who is a victim of any satanic manipulation wherever they are don't be surprised if you see little children manifesting now wherever they are inside and outside i'm prophesying that the spirits symbols just the symbols please. right now wherever the children are i'm prophesying that the power of god will touch them touch them i set them free from activities of witchcraft occultism any kind of initiation if there is any little child here under any yoke of bondage i set them free now i set them free now hallelujah hallelujah my friend lift your hands that gentleman going tap him there is hardship in your family and the Lord is asking me to cause it right now in the name of Jesus I cause hardship let the anointing of the spirit come on you now I cause that spirit the spirit of hardship I cause you now I cause you now I cause you now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah listen if you are here and you have any blood disease just blood disease any kind any kind blood related issue lay your hand on your chest i want to pray for you right now blood related issue genotype whatever it is um, or any kind of thing maybe any sickness that is blood related please i want to pray for you right now the lord is giving me that instruction very quickly I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a lady who is AS. God is about to change her genotype now. 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 A dramatic change of genotype from AS to SS. From AS to AA by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit hallelujah hallelujah please 
if you come from a family where no one in your family is working lift your hands nobody no job nobody just please just do what i'm asking you to do let's save time just lift your hands nobody at all is working no matter what happens just lift your hands i want to pray for you lift your hands i want to pray for you jesus 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 i'm i'm looking at hands lifted and and for some of the hands i'm seeing like a rope this is not necessarily you this is a representation of your family and i want to pray for you in the name of jesus i stretch my hands get ready for the power of god right now wherever you are even those who didn't lift their hands i decree and declare that that yoke of joblessness comes under attack right now right now right now right now right now i release them i release them i release their jobs i release their jobs by the power of the holy ghost 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 we end joblessness here right now right now in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah the spirit of revelation is coming on 17 people one seven one seven one seven at the count of four this is the instruction god gives me unusual access to illumination lord where are they inside and outside one two three strange illumination four take it now take it now the spirit of revelation on common access to the secrets of the kingdom on common access 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 i release it in the spirit access 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 hallelujah please make sure you receive every word that is coming every word come god is going to use you come come and stand here lift your hands stand up in the name of jesus i don't know you huh but an anointing will come upon your life today and god is going to change your life like day and night receive that grace right now strange grace step into that dimension that dimension there are impartations going on now let's just receive the impartations impartations not healings not healings impartations impartations i release the gifts of the spirit right now right now i release the gifts of the spirit lord stir up the fountain stir up the waters stir up the waters i release the gifts of the spirit strange gifts strange gifts strange manifestations of power of power healing anointings healing anointings i activate healing anointings right now healing anointings step into it step into it outside inside step into it god is releasing mantles mantles of healing ancient mantles of healing ancient mantles grace for barrenness grace for barrenness grace for barrenness healing barren cases hallelujah hold on i'm still praying i'm still praying god wants to release the healing anointing let's just stay here with this healing thing god wants to release there are many more people i'm not seeing them receive it yet father you want to release this grace there is such a grace as the healing anointing i pray for you right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands inside and outside like a tornado may the power of god come on you now everyone everyone everywhere men women take it take it take it fire upon your spirit Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come I will be done. Hello, be my don't die. Thy kingdom.
I don't know how we are going to manage this now. Ushers, there is a prophecy for you. The Lord says I should tell you from now, as you hold people and as you shake them, there will be a transference on every one usher. I'm prophesying now. That's why I say I don't know what we'll do. Ushers, ushers, receive that mantle. Receive that mantle. A strange healing grace coming on our ushers. Supernatural supernatural the unction take it take it where you are let that fire come upon you upon ushers in a strange way upon ushers in a strange way the grace for the miraculous no longer will you just hold people no longer will you just welcome people as you clean the seats you release strange mantles. Hallelujah. We'll soon pray for the sick. But please everyone lift your hands. Lift your hands. I want to pray. I'm seeing people here. The anointing for business and entrepreneurship. Just keep your hands. That's why, please keep your hands. I want to pray for you. Don't say I'm not called into a businessman. That's none of your business. Just listen to what I'm saying. I want to pray for you. It's a grace. It's a grace. I believe maybe in the course of the service, we'll call a Jimmy here to just prophesy that grace and release it truly, truly upon your life. Lift your hands. Brothers and sisters, there is a grace for the marketplace. You don't go there through desire. It's not that you are a, mon a money monger, you just go, but strange ideas strange insight do you know i'm seeing a number four and one 41 this will affect many people inside and outside whether you're a businessman or not it's not what i'm asking you that grace will locate you where you are a grace for the marketplace lord in the name of jesus inside and outside all the overflows online anyone here who must step into that grace whether you know anything about the marketplace or not take that grace now take that grace now i release it supernatural access 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 to business strategies access to ideas take it right now receive it receive it it's coming on people receive it receive it receive it is coming on you so that you will go and prosper 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 There is a woman, one of our mothers, this grace that I'm talking about is coming on you now. Now. One of our mothers, one of our mothers is receiving that grace. God is releasing that grace. Whether you are inside or outside, whoever it is, I release that grace now. There is a woman I'm seeing in the spirit. You must take that grace now. You must take that grace now. Uncommon ability. Uncommon ability. Uncommon insight. For the works of your hands to begin to produce fruit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Look at me. Please help them. How many of you are trusting God to restore something that has left your life? It can be anything. How many of you are trusting God? I want to release that grace now. And I want you to believe it. Some of you had destiny help us. But something happened and they left your life. 
some of you had quality relationships but it left your life some of you had finances but it left your life some of you even had certain levels of graces the lord is asking me to prophesy restoration Kai, this is going to land on people's head i'm seeing this thing there are physical gifts you used to see in your life not gifts of the spirit not just gifts of the spirit gifts gifts endowments for some reason it disappeared some of you are actually worshippers singers but that grace left is coming back is coming back i invoke the grace that he has put upon my life i prophesy strange restoration i call it by name and i command it back to your life i call it by name everything you once were that you now are not i command you to become it now i command you to become it now i release that grace i release that grace receive it i release that grace i release that grace hallelujah now listen listen there are some of us hear me you have been doing certain things but the anointing for what you are doing has not yet come on your life this is a very serious prayer i want to pray for you you have been doing business with the brain of a money monger but not the grace for the marketplace you have been singing only with the voice of a musician but not the spirit of david i want to release the anointing of your office the anointing that has to do with your function please i want you to believe what i'm praying hear me hear me hear me it's one thing david was anointed to step into his office are you anointed for what you are doing i know you are working you want promotion is there an unction you are working with or are you just working with certificate at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there will be distribution of graces it's like an alignment the anointing the oil of your call the oil of what you are doing is about to locate you father in the name of jesus i pray right now whoever is functioning without an anointing functioning without the oil i stand upon this ground and i prophesy at the count of three may the grace that will distinguish you come upon you get ready now one one two two three receive that grace now take it take it grace grace for your academics grace for the ministry grace Help me. The chains are gone. God help me back. Hey, 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 hallelujah hallelujah please i'm seeing something happening here right now there are people who are receiving grace for speed and they will start running physically hold them hold them so they don't injure people i release the grace you won't control yourself physically running speed physically i release that grace now receive grace for speed receive grace for speed right now right now i command you to run run in the spirit catch up 
catch up, catch up by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I release peace. I release peace. I release peace. Speed to your life. Speed to your destiny. Speed to your life. Speed to your destiny. Speed to your life. Speed to your destiny. Words you speak, the things around your arms Run like Elijah, run like Elijah. You took away the chains and that help me by, help me by. Hey, holy shit. Much more than I desire. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for the sick now. Listen. Please. Three things. Let me just give three instructions. Hold on please everyone. The worship team will continue right now. Now we are going to be very fast about this. Number one. Number two. Please. If you have not written your prayer request or the ones of your loved ones please i permit you put on your phone and call them tell them to send it as a text message write it we are going to be praying here tonight and we are going to be asking the fire of god to fall on request don't assume if you have not written it no problem settle down think well and write you are here you are trusting god for healing i understand there are a few sick people that they brought around please we are going to do it this way if your case is very sensitive then you can bring them to the front here but those outside please just walk to the um well there are a lot more people outside really well for those who can come in let's see but for those who may not make it you can walk to the front and then down there i'm here pastor jakes is here um we'll just station ourselves one one and then the other people will just support so that we can do it very fast praise god thank god pastor jakes is here and jimmy is here hallelujah praise god hold on so outside you can just walk at your various projector stands and stand there for those who have come in just allow them don't stop them let them come in that does not mean everybody will stream in please are we together if you're standing just stand trust god if they don't ask you what is wrong with you don't worry they just lay hands on you praise the lord hey, Jimmy, please you help us hey, Jimmy will be outside here and pastor jakes will be down outside there praise the lord benga you go with pastor jakes you will help pastor jakes outside um pastor alpha you'll be outside just help them and then um who, who is around again is femi around okay so you can just come and help me here so let's do it that way very fast very very fast if there are more people there see promise is here michael is here so maybe you can add one okay promise just follow promise follow pastor jakes michael follow Jimmy. please let's do it very very fast while hold on please don't be distracted don't cut the flow we are going to be very fast at this and we'll pray and then i'll speak over your life many miracles are happening even whilst you are seated don't be distracted. I expect you to be writing your request and be praying in the spirit. Hallelujah. For those stationed at different points, whether at the back, any of the overflows, I'd like you to believe God for a miracle right now. Believe God for a miracle. You can see someone like our daddy. He has come with his crutch, believing God to walk. You believe you walk, sir. You believe the Lord will heal you. So get ready to walk. You see, there are people stationed around. We are going to pray this will be very very fast and then the lord will help us in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father thank you let me start with our daddy first how long have you been like this sir six months stroke who brought him 
Who came with our daddy? You came by yourself, sir. Came by myself. By yourself. From where, sir? Was the station here. You cannot walk. I can move with you. This walk is stick. Which but of the legs has a problem? This is the leg. This is stroke. Yes. Can you lift it? No, I can't. I can't. The hand, I can't lift Hold it. on. Look at this. Sir, look at me. You believe in Jesus? I believe. You believe in the power of I Jesus? Believe. Lord, I introduce your kingdom to this man's life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Huh? The Lord will begin to touch you. Your hands, everything is already dead. Sir, lift your leg. Lift your leg. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your leg. Lift it. Lift your leg. Lift your leg. Start. Try to walk gently. Come. Come. Try to walk gently. Come. Give me the stick. Look at me. Look at your stick. Come. 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 Don't be afraid. Come. Look at this, look at what is happening to this man. Came with this stick. Look at this. 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 Look at Find a chair and just keep him, let him sit down while the power of God touches him. Sir, you came here by yourself. Um, trust him. Okay, and the boy has gone. Okay, he's somewhere. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God you believe has begun this miracle. You will perfect it. Look for a stick for him there. Hold your stick by yourself and go. Don't put it on the ground. Hold it up. Walk by yourself and go. Give Jesus praise. Look at what God is Heal now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is destroying witchcraft in your life in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Someone is still sick here. Someone is still sick here. I'm feeling the healing anointing pulling out from me. Someone is still sick here. No, 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 no. I'll pray for you. But I'm saying, I feel it within this vicinity from ministers roll down, choir. Someone is sick. Come, let me pray for you. you came out. Lift your hands. Jesus. Someone is still sick here. Someone has to be healed here now. Someone is sick here. I know when the anointing has released me to do something else. I still feel that someone is sick. Someone is sick. Someone is still sick. Lord, let that person be healed. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. Just this vicinity. I sense it's like, you know how someone is pulling your cloth? Jesus said, virtue has gone out of me. That's what I'm still feeling. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's a gentleman here. Your elder brother has a case. I may not be able to mention the case. This is a health-related case. But this is a challenge with married people. This has affected, it's one of the worst things that can happen to a man in marriage. And the Lord is bringing a miracle right now. Right now. Elder brother, supernatural miracle is coming to that person by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
you are holding her but something is leaving her to you now you who is holding her something is leaving her to you there is there is virtue i see a transference of grace from a jimmy's wife to you you are doing your work as an usher but you have received something very strange and very powerful you see let me tell you something if if you do not you say hold on walking in the anointing is more than having it having the anointing is very different from being able to navigate the pathways of the anointing if not you will be anointed but you will not be able to dispense it fruitfully because you are just guessing it's like a man shooting anyhow you must have discernment many people think all it takes once you can speak and someone falls they say i am anointed what do you know about the anointing the anointing is more than releasing something mysterious to somebody it must accomplish something this you need more discernment than even the anointing the substance the ability to look at for instance like these people who have been touched now you are an anointed man of god you are finished praying you go to the next thing you see insensitivity in the spirit this is not guesswork if you are guessing you will not see the results like this it's not it's not guessing so please learn it i know that this is a place where we value the anointing and there are many of you you are waiting for me to prophesy release impartation after this now it's not it's not just about holding people ah hold this lady hold Mukhtar's wife an anointing is coming on her please hold her her and matter two of them there is i don't know what it is but i'm seeing i don't know why god is doing this thing strange God, God is giving two of them strange favor strange favor I see strange favor strange favor America God is giving you access I'm seeing you like a crown coming on your head and God is saying he's giving you strange access strange access strange access strange access strange access Muas, god is giving strange favor strange favor strange favor, strange favor. hallelujah i don't know what i'm saying but this is a word for someone and the lord is saying why make it next year when I have destined it to be this year. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. This is the word of the Lord. Why make it next year? This is a word for many people. When I have destined it to be this year. As I speak to you, the word is for you. The power of God will locate you. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. It's the year of triumph. It's a year of triumph. Why make it next year? Just allow me to do my stupidity. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. My God. Hallelujah. There is a lady here, you have been disappointed with God right now. You actually came help the ushers. You came expecting that I would directly call your case. And you, you, you prayed this thing. But now it looks like we are about to pray and I didn't call your case. The power of God is coming on you now. Now, as a sign that God had now wherever you are he's locating you now now i command that spirit to leave you i see you in the spirit go now in the name of the lord jesus christ i stretch my hands now and i command by the power of the Holy Ghost, let her go now. Peace to your spirit. Every devil carries his nonsense and lives with you. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ.
Alléluia. Pastor Jack is still praying outside. Okay, we can just do it. This is a listen. There are two moments in every miracle service you should not miss. Ah, there is, I mean, God is just doing certain things. It's like something is really happening. Don't worry about what is happening. Impartations. God, see, let me tell you right now, if the anointing comes on you, just know that it's the answer to your prayer. This is not a special once the anointing comes on you. Just know that your prayer has been answered. You understand? This is what it doesn't mean if the anoint if you don't fall down, it's not answered. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying this is how God is choosing to confirm to some people now, as I'm talking, that your prayer, no matter how difficult it is, no matter how difficult your prayer is. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, everyone, please stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. Please, Pastor Jakes, come. What do you mean? Please, okay, he's writing something. Just stretch your hands here and pray. And pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost from the depth of your heart. Stretch your hands. Shakatopakata. Leketeketekete. Stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. No, leave us. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands. Pray in the Holy Ghost. 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 Prophesy in the Holy Ghost. Shake it to go to to get up. Rakata kata makata. So put to so peke te te te. Miracles, so God. Testimonies, so God. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. We prophesy. We prophesy. We prophesy. We prophesy. Visit impossible situations. I tell you, God is moving. I see a cloud. I see a cloud over this prayer request. That's what I see in the spirit. God is moving upon it. Moving upon it. Moving upon it. The Spirit of God is moving over the prayer request, visiting families, releasing angels, releasing angels, visiting the request. I'm seeing the cloud of God's presence, visiting the prayer request. Savior, He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. All for a salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus, sing it one more time for God. Say. Mighty and everlasting Father, Master of the Universe, the God that answers by fire. We receive answers by fire in the name of Jesus. Angels of God, are you not ministry spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive angelic ministration and direct answers from heaven now in the name of Jesus. The heavens over these requests are open and answers come speedily in the name of Jesus. It has been decreed, it has been ratified. And it is done in the name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you exceedingly, abundantly, 
above all that we ask above all that we imagine is done in the name of jesus we give you praise father we thank you we thank you we thank you in jesus name we have decreed come on give jesus praise give jesus mighty praise hallelujah please say to me still come pastor jake's come i just feel like doing this is I, I don't always do this but i want to prophesy over your lives and in the name of jesus they are my friends but the lord is telling me to speak over their lives they are great men of god in power but in the name of jesus the lord is saying i should prophesy the next dimension to prophesy a new level and in the name of jesus i speak it step into a new dimension a Jimmy God is saying I should release grace for access. I command that grace. Strange access. Strange access. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Strange access. Gifted men coming into your life. Connections with gifted men. In the name of Jesus. And Pastor Jakes, God is giving you influence. Strange influence. Strange influence. Strange influence. Strange influence. Is a very strange apostolic dimension of influence lord i pray in the name of jesus that you will bless them wherever your wives are i bring them into this experience now 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 wherever they are i prophesy to tosin wherever she is and i speak to hope you are one so i prophesy as it happens to you i bring your wives into this experience in the name of jesus strange levels of access strange levels of access strange levels of influence hallelujah hallelujah let me do this just once i spotted lizzie somewhere one of the oldest year nine lady come she came in from abuja part of the founding people that started this ministry all the way and the Lord is saying I should prophesy a release. I told you about ladies who used to climb trees. When this ministry started, no money, no nothing. They were in welfare, they were in worship team at the same time. They would climb trees and pluck the firewood for cooking for us for the crusades. And the Lord is saying I should pray and prophesy and open up a new dimension that it is for her does not mean you cannot receive it you see the thing with prophecy is the moment there is hunger it will still land on your head praise the lord father in the name of jesus i lay my hands right now over lizzie and lord jesus i prophesy i prophesy according to the word that you are giving me i open up a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter shabaka toto barekete zat kaskapas katapas katapas Legate to soto prateke skopari adabalaba. A new chapter, a new chapter, a new chapter, a new chapter. And as many who desire to drink of this grace, a new chapter, a new chapter, a new chapter. As many who desire to drink of this grace, a new chapter. In the name of Jesus, a new chapter. Listen. I prophesy to you a new chapter by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. We are rounding up. Who is this girl? Come. You. God has chosen to visit you. Come. Come and stand here. God is wiping your tears. This prayer I'm praying for you will open the tulip gates of your destiny. I lay my hands upon you and I command the gates to be opened now. I stood there and I saw you and the Lord said I should open that gate. I lay my hands upon you. I command the gates to be open. Be open right now. Be open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be open right now. We're rounding up. We're rounding up. Please, this lady with uh, yellow, blue, you come. 
I don't know you, but the Lord is asking me to pray for you. Lift your hands. This is a real prayer to usher you into a strange realm of blessings. I lay my hands and I remove the embargo from your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command. Uh -uh. I'm praying for you, but I'm seeing my hand on you. I'm praying for you, but I'm seeing my hand on you. Jesus, please visit them. Strange visitations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Strange visitations. Lift your hands, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. I just saw a door open and I saw a name come out. Listen. I saw a name come out and I saw the Okalo family. The Okalo family. This is Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. God is visiting your people. All three of you, step into that grace. I open that door now. The Okalo family, step into that grace. Open, 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 open. I open that door. An age-long witchcraft broken over your family. An age-long witchcraft broken over your family. An age-long witchcraft broken over your family. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus a dramatic restoration of everything that by the power of witchcraft has tied you down whatever has covered your glory I speak it right now in the name of Jesus let it be open 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 I unveil your glory I unveil your glory I unveil your glory Shaka -ta -ta -ta. I unveil your glory. I unveil your glory. Tonight is a strange night. Please receive every prophetic word that I'm going to pray for you. Ah, just allow me to do one more thing. The Spirit of God, I have not seen this in a while. I'm now seeing the map of Nigeria and I see Benway State. The Spirit of God is going to Benway right now. Right now. Touching people. You know how it happens when I speak. Benway, Benway, miracles. Locate them now, oh God. People from Benway. Benway, strange grace. Strange grace. I break witchcraft. Benway. I'm seeing Benway. hallelujah hallelujah i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right i'm seeing i know o to go but i'm seeing the o a a at the is there a place like that or to bar or something the power of god i'm seeing that going to that area the lord is bringing a miracle ends with an a whoever comes from that region in the name of jesus breakthrough 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 Strange breakthrough. Strange breakthrough. Benway. 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 I don't know why God is doing this, but I'm prophesying it. May the angel of the Lord's presence step into that place. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another name on the map. Emo. 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 Where are they, oh God? Emo. 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 Emo states. Emo state, the anointing of the spirit locates them now strangely. Matato Sotota, Emo state, miracles, miracles, breakthroughs, signs, wonders, miracles, miracles to Emo state by the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. If you're from Cross River, Cross River, Calabar, something is happening right now. Cross River, Cross River, Cross River, 
Cross River. Help her. Help her, please. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everyone. It's the ministry of signs and wonders. Let me talk to you, my dear. This lady looking at me. You, come. The Lord has located you today. Come. Lift your hands. The Lord says I should tell you for shame. He is bringing laughter to your life. For shame. He is bringing laughter to your life. For shame. He is bringing laughter to your life. For shame. He is bringing laughter to your life. Lift your hands. We are rounding up. You've heard me say it again that this is the most powerful part of the service. I want you to believe it. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, the anointing flows through me to you. And I know when the anointing is heaviest. It's only because many of us are already used to some of these things. And so you think when these things are happening, you don't judge the anointing just by physical manifestations. I want to pray for you. Please receive everything I pray for you. Every age-long challenge every challenge that has refused to leave I prophesy upon it right now I command that it comes to an end in your life now 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 that fair lady come this lady Diana. run come Lift your hands, I'm still praying. In the name of Jesus, listen. Whatever has brought shame and dishonor like a stigma to your life, I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. I saw you inside a cave and I'm surprised because we've prayed for, for deliverance prayer. And I saw you inside a cave. You are just trying to push the door. That's why I asked you to come out. Let me, I don't know you. Do I know you? Where did you come from? Damagadi. Where? Damagadi. Kutuku. Where is that? I don't know. Here in Zaria. Yes. I'm going to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough. Two things. God is going to throw somebody out of your life. I'm not a prophet of doom, but it will happen. He will reach three days. Huh? Throw completely so that you can move forward. I hold your hands in the name of Jesus. Every deceiver of your destiny will drive them far from you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You need to love Jesus with all your heart. Right? You are a nice person but your relationship with Jesus. You, you can get teachings after this, but I want to prophesy on your life. God is taking somebody, not death, though, just driving somebody out, an unwanted person out of your life. I prophesy the kind of favor you have never seen. I lay my hands on you, and I provoke the heavens to release that favor for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare over every family represented here, whether your nuclear family your extended family hold on i don't know what has gone wrong but in the name of jesus within now and miracle service match dramatic turn around for families dramatic turn around for families dramatic turn around for families in the name of jesus one of the mysteries responsible for open doors and new levels is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers. I want to pray for you. I don't know where they are, but one thing I know is they never come on their own. They are called by prophecy. I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. The helper of your destiny I command them to appear now. 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 Hallelujah. Come. Come and hold my hands.
congratulations i'm seeing a job this is what i'm seeing i'm seeing a very good job and the lord is saying i should congratulate you look at me you will stand here and testify before the people of God. all the holy ghost said i should tell you is congratulations and i hold your hand in the name of jesus christ may it come to pass i decree and declare the results you have not had in 10 years put together in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god in one month 30 days i stand here under the unction of the holy ghost 30 days beginning from today step into those results step into those results ah, yeah, 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 yeah. step into those results step into those results strange dimensions of results hallelujah whoever has despised you whether to your knowing or not to your knowing i pray may god put them on the scene as he lifts you may they watch your rising as god honors you i pray for anyone here whose spiritual life has gone down prayer life down your praise and worship life down fasting down word life down in the name of jesus christ i activate fresh grace receive it fresh grace fresh fire outside receive it fresh grace fresh fire fresh grace hallelujah wherever your prosperity is i pray may listen listen hagar carried ishmael and they were roaming around the desert they said there was no water but when an angel appeared, all of a sudden they saw water. That you have not seen it does not mean it's, there, it's not there. I open your eyes to see where God has anointed to bring you financial blessings. I open your eyes in the name of Jesus. I open your eyes to see where God has placed your prosperity. Hallelujah. The plague of death that is looming around this nation looking for people and families is listen it's like a graph it rises then sometimes it relaxes i'm praying whoever calls your name i'm prophesying this so whether in the secret or the open to invoke death upon your life i command the earth to open and swallow them I command the earth to open and swallow them. Whoever prophesies that it will not be well with you, may misery follow them. The Esther anointing, the unction and the grace, that granted Esther uncommon access in the presence of Ahasuerus, Shababa Satalakata. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny right now. Take it. I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points and we're done. Hallelujah listen listen many of us do not understand the mystery of spiritual defense and protection listen i want to pray something that is very powerful in your life listen when you are in trouble and there is nobody to show up for you it's a cause are you hearing what i'm saying now the bible says defend you in the day of trouble there are many of us if for any reason things go wrong in your life you are in trouble there is nobody that can arise as a defense but i'm prophesying to you right now in the name of jesus christ whoever must arise and defend your cause in the presence of your helpers and in the presence of your persecutors i call them forth right now in the name of jesus may god raise men to be a wall of defense for you in this wicked 
um, wicked state that we are living right now in this country people say if you don't have anybody and honestly speaking somebody can get up and come and seize your land you and your land and your paper they will collect it because there is no defense i'm prophesying again quarter to shame may god raise a defense for you and finally i want to pray the prayer of jabez for you many of us many of us have not studied honor is not money listen listen there are many rich people with no honor are we together there are many well-to-do people with no honor do you know what honor is honor is when god anoints men to lavishly discern and celebrate what you represent without reservation so for every one person who talks nonsense there are thousands honor Jabez said Oda the mother bore him in sorrow you brought shame for me so I call you Jabez honor is more than money brothers and sisters the Bible says a good name is better than riches I pray the mantle of honor that by the grace of God has rested upon this ministry in the name that is above all names for as many who have the grace and the discernment to receive take that mantle right now Take that mantle right now. They don't have to know you, but strangers will come to feed your flock. Receive that grace for honor. Hallelujah. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise him. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.